going, everybody? Uh, yeah. This is Iron Keep. Uh, I think Tom Lommel knocked on the door, but uh, he. We decided Dom's, not to let him Dom's in. Dom's not letting him in, so. Yeah, so. Somebody knocked on the door. He's working uh -oh. on it. So, yeah. uh, chat's going to DM knock? the game tonight, so just tell us yeah. what to do. But you can only tell us in donations, because we can't see chat. <laughs> yeah, we can't see chat. So, so if you donate $5, yeah. we'll go left. If you donate yeah. $10, we'll go right. Okay. Twitch plays D&D. &D. Um, go. There you go. The most expensive We'll wait for Twitch you. Plays. Go now. Right? Yeah. We'll wait. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, I guess we like say who we are. OK, yeah, yeah. do that. Yeah. Let's do that. OK, you, you start. Oh. Hi everyone, my name's Eric Reichert, and I'm playing Grayson Hale, Paladin of Torm, and uh, all-around human boy. Mm. You always say that, and mm. it just seems weird. Something about the way you say that seems Nothing. I think like it's suspicious weird... to mention at all, actually. Yeah, yeah. I think that Most might be humans what it is. don't feel like they need to clarify I'm that they're human. I've never done that as a human. Very human. I'm just a humble human man. Hmm. Okay. Human mm. man. Yeah. Huh? Hi, I'm Megan Caves, and I am playing Ava who is a druid, she's a scourge, Asmore druid. I always feel like I'm saying ass Imar. Ass that, that's not what you're saying? I just, no, I, I just, am, but it's such a weird name. She's like an angel. They're like an right. angel race. It sounds like you want more ass. I do want more ass, yeah. too, that too. Anyway, but yeah, she Don't is an avatar <laughs> of Varshala, the water goddess. And she's Slender awesome dog and great. Arrives. And not a teenager. Anyway. Uh, uh, hello. You. <laughs> My name's Vanna, and I tonight I'm playing Avril Birdsong, a rogue extraordinaire, and uh, and yeah, she's got a magical talking weapon named Wave, who just recently uh, kind of upped his game, and now he's a return weapon, and he's in unstoppable. And then the ultimate team, <laughs> and he's also is like a part of Barshala. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's true. We're all connected, We're like all water. Look at that. Please be care. Thank you for the ten dollars. So that's a right. Oh, we that's go a right. right. Oh, we, we go, go right. right. We go right. First decision we have to go right. A chat's gonna DM tonight, <laughs> and I said five dollars was left, ten dollars was right. <clears throat> so we're gonna go right. No matter what you tell us to do, the yeah. next thing we decide will be go right. It's a hallway. Right. Okay. We turn right. We turn right. That sounds great. Cool. Hi everyone. I'm Tom Lommel, known for my punctuality and Ooh. style. Yeah. Nice hat. Wow! <laughs> Ouch. Okay. <laughs> Is that, I thought, you, you can thought that was a dig for yourself. <laughs> uh, welcome to our D and D five E game. Hi. I assume all of the business has been taken care of. Hey, if you would like to alter uh, tonight's uh, events in any way, everyone who mattered well, introduced well, themselves. <laughs> everyone introduced themselves. We did. Yeah, everyone that mattered. <laughs> Oh, everyone that mattered. Fucking Eric is being so savage. So savage. Did, did, did we not get around to grab you? No, Don't no. Get the mic up, Tom. Huh? What oh, for? right. <laughs> Everything's <laughs> cool, everyone. <laughs> Everything's cool. I'm right here. I'm right here. Slender dog knocks over camera. <laughs> There's a wild deer loose in the studio. It's true. Lay down. <laughs> He's an obedient wild deer. Mm hmm. For an um, amount of time. <laughs> yeah. What was that? Oh. Get those dice. Yeah, he realizes how large he is. Get those chips. Doesn't have to listen to anybody. Get that phone. There we go. Well. Well. Garab Galati, everybody. Garab Galati, everyone. Hi, everybody. I'm Garab. I'm playing Thawne of the Wood, who is a uh, human ranger. Ooh. And uh, also, I played Thawne of the Wood last night on the Merry Mercenaries. And we fought a dragon. And we level up to level seven, so I went ahead and made the changes to my character. Wow! So I'm level seven, just to let you guys know. I'm sure that's legal within. Yeah, that's everything, that's every, oh. everything about that is 100% cool. Cool. Um, a Draco Lich attacks out of nowhere, blasts everyone on board the Glass Worm with its evil necrotic uh, breath weapon. We go right. Um, you all make your saving Damn. throws. You're fine. <laughs> I'm sorry, you lose a level. That was a DC 25 for that Rangers. Real fast. That's tough. Oh man. Hey, great. Well, Thank welcome you, everyone. Uh, I'm Tom Lummel. I'm the guy in the hat and the shirt. I run this thing supposedly, <laughs> but really the players run it. I'm just here to shepherd them around. So Twenty-five dollars. That's. <laughs> Go in circles. Yeah. That's two lefts and a right. Yeah. That's what that is. And we had another to, 25 earlier. I have to turn on my Mr. Wizard oh. screen and, and find out is we, we what everyone is up to. RP for five minutes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just about whatever's nearby. Mm, we're not really oh, known yeah. for our role playing. <laughs> we're we're very hands off. We don't we don't get dressed up. Um, hey everyone, thanks for your patience. <laughs> that was like it was it's like opposite day. Oh, 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 that yeah. was like opposite. <laughs> Lying is what normal people call it. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I've done it. I've done it. Mm. All right. So, uh, as, as I have pointed out there, or I've tried to point out, 
I just walked in the door. <clears throat> there are different ways that you in the chat can influence tonight's events, whether that's deciding which way the party is going to go or m far more interesting and nefarious things that may be afoot. You can find out by doing exclamation point, also known as bang tips. Uh, and I'm sure you all have Yay. seen that come up in the chat by now because we have some great donations Ooh. ahead of us already. So thank you so thank much you. to everyone who has tipped in. Um, should we do this unboxing first before we get to the rest of the mayhem? Sure. Uh, do you have an unboxing implement that I may use? You can I can't. Rip those open I really can't easy. even remember who sent this. I look at Bastion. Bastion. Look, look at these arms. Do you think I can just rip this open? I think you look relatively strong yeah. for Use such a, a nerd. <laughs> I will. I will take your compliments. You're welcome. And uh, I don't know. Be a kind DM for once. Ooh. Just tonight, just tonight, I'm gonna You're be. You're really nice to me. It's really mean to everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> Very true. All right. Level. Fair enough. Who do you think you are, Amy Vorpal? Come on. <clears throat> I wish. <laughs> we all don't we all? Yeah. Uh, so back. <laughs> Megan's like, I like me. I don't like me myself. Thanks. <laughs> Jeez, Megan. Wow. Can I say, so like, Bas be yourself. <laughs> Bastion Fields sent uh, something addressed to the Iron Keep crew, care Ooh. of Gadzook here. Uh, I have no idea what's in this. is going to be as much of a surprise. Is it a Funko Pop? Can we all take guesses? My guess is Funko Pop. I mean, I already guessed a pony. I guessed oh. it was a baby otter. <gasps> That's what That's I guess. Really guess. That's a really good guess. That's a really good guess. But I'm in a live <laughs> at the time. Also, I will cry. <laughs> I also guessed fake dog turd. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was going to uh, I, I mean, get that some, goes with pony. I can get you some real ones if you're really curious. It's not Thought, for you. Uh, Grav, do you I have think, a... I think it's like... All of his collected fan art for the show. Oh my oh, god, what if it's a lock of, it. of all of our hair? For some reason, it came from Amazon. I don't know why. Well, he self published. Wait, what? No, that's oh, it. Yeah. Uh, I, like, I like Megan's guess Human best of head. all. Uh, <laughs> Amazon. I'm going to guess dry erase markers because Bestian oh. Fields knows what I like. And I'm sure this is it just sucks. for me. It's socks. <laughs> oh my god, I love socks. Oh. Yeah. socks it's nice little socks. And the answer is oh, guess who was right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, it, oh, no. Oh, no. Don't put your well, baby you otter in a plastic cry? bag. It is so adorable. Wow. Does it even, it says uh, Miani on it. Oh. <laughs> Pet it and love it. It's amazing. I feel weird about this. Yeah. <laughs> Megan, I'm holding you. <laughs> I don't know how this works. Uh, She's your mommy now. Apparently so. Uh, that is very cool. Can you lay down? Somebody hold oh me God, like that. Oh my God, it's on. so cute. Makes I've, you think, doesn't it? I've done it. Stop <laughs> saying that. <laughs> hey, lay down. You know how this works. It's a very simple Pavlovian system that we Highly have here. Highly social sea otters hang out in groups called rafts. I did not know that. Well, that makes sense. Lay down. Sometimes holding hands to stay together, they can spend their entire lives in water and sleep floating on their backs. Status endangered. <laughs> no, what? That took a dark turn. They also rape baby seals. Yeah. No. <laughs> they murder for fun. And apparently this is pretty dangerous. Wow. What is Remove dangerous? all the hang tabs and their fasteners before giving this product to a child. The consumer is advised to note the above information for reference. <laughs> Surf is washable. Your baby will die if it plays with this otter. That's this not good. Uh, thank you, you so much. <laughs> I don't know. I might rip a hole in space time. <laughs> uh -huh. It's so cute. Thanks, Bash. Ah, that is awesome. Yes, awesome. thank you. Is that what you thought it was, Don? Huh? Is that what you yes. thought it was? Oh, okay. Wow, that was that was that was that's like me, right? yeah. on point, Spitting as uncanny. the kids say, on <laughs> like, point. Which one? Which one is currently oh, me? Yeah. No, 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 well, no, that, no. that one. Again, oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, uh, oh, let's God. get to I'll the rest of the goodies that Chat has uh, generously oh, given there. us this this, this fine evening, shall we? Um, so, uh, because of the various donations that we have accumulated, inspiration has been unlocked for everyone. You already have your. <laughs> Uh, various, um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, do I get inspiration? Am I the weird? Okay, uh, so that's happening. Everyone gets three bumps. Nice. So Ooh, that you is great. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So that's um, happening. And I, I get a reroll. From what? 
from How come? yesterday. Tiffy gave me her what? refill for her resub yesterday. What? I wasn't here yesterday. Was I know. I was creeping in the chat. Like, I saw it. Oh, <laughs> you're creeping in the chat. What? Not during disorganized. Oh, okay. All right. Fair enough. Uh, you're right. Tippy does give you a reroll. Do we have our other coins? We have those other there. ones. They're behind you. Yes. Oh, that's, that's a lot of dog. All right, so yes, Havana gets a reroll. Um, everyone gets an additional bump because of chat is just nice. Wow. So, nice, thanks, Thank chat. You. All right, so that's that's four that's for everyone. Left or right? <laughs> I think they're up. Okay. It's a vertical jump. Uh -huh. I've got an eight foot vertical. Jump. Um, a blind seer gives me two rerolls. Uh, thank you two. very much. Two. Yes. How did you two? Uh, I, I, uh, because Blind Seer actually made donations during disorganized play. Oh, nice. Uh, uh, the, the, uh, last week and oh yesterday. God. So, nice. yes. Uh, one unique bi beast gives a reroll to boop, 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 Havana Mahoney. Yeah! Mm -hmm. Yay! Thank you! And Volkner 12. Volkner 12 gives a reroll to boop, 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 Havana Mahoney. Mm. <clears throat> nice. All right. Fan favorite tonight, there we go. baby. <laughs> but Suck only, it, Tom. only tonight. Only tonight. It's usually you. <laughs> I, I need bonus points for my cool shirt. If you would like this cool shirt, you can go to our Saving Throw merch site. This is a Brian Patterson. Uh, design, but you can buy it through our store. Yeah, it's it's, on, it's, sale right it's now. on sale right now. Yeah. You can get the regular tee for 14 bucks. I like the soft tri blend, which is a little more it comfortable. Looks very soft. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like 18, 20 bucks. Um, also, you can get yourself a genuine Iron Keep Chronicles shirt and a genuine Iron Keep Chronicles Fuck Wugget shirt. Yeah. Which Fuck I Wugget. just ordered today. Woo woo. Nice. Yes. So Do check it. those out. Uh, yeah, very good. Oh, there we go. Um, yeah, there it is. Is that the tri blend? What's that? This is the for the women, it's the tri blend, but it's like a, a relaxed fit or scoop neck or oh, something. Yeah. I just got yeah, two it's, more. It's the <laughs> Dolan or something like that, yeah, isn't that what it's called? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's cute. it's super like soft. Yeah. I feel like yeah. I was thinking about getting the slouchy V-neck. Yeah, those look cool too. I have to say, they're really quality. Like I've washed my Iron Keep shirt several times, and it's like mm -hmm. that yeah. hasn't shrunk. It hasn't like. Mm -hmm. They're nice stuff. Yeah, it's yeah, really that's good. That's great. Uh, definitely now worth while it. On sale. And if you get it in mm -hmm. green, it looks like it's Christmas time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, and a different Canuck. <laughs> How many different Canucks are there? Well, I can, I can name five. <laughs> it gives a reroll. Please do right now. <laughs> <laughs> My wife. My wife. <laughs> My wife's old roommate. My wife's old roommate's fiance. Wait, these aren't You're people. not naming yeah. names Those at all. Oh, I don't want to name them on stream. This... Full names, home yeah. addresses, <laughs> top social security. Uh, yeah. Gives a reroll to. <laughs> Oh wait, we go left now that we've got our donations. Eric Riker, oh, nice. boom! Thank you. Mm -hmm. As you usually bounces on the table, you're gonna give Dom that. an aneurysm. <laughs> <don't do that. laughs> no French fries. Hey, what are you doing over here, buddy? <laughs> I pet him. I'm sorry, I'm not. In, I'm not enforced. I'm enforcing the You can't behavior. have any French fries. You did a great job. I just give more. You like grab a handful. It's like you can't have these. No, you can't eat. Do you want more? I mean, no. Stop. Uh, yeah, and I've got all look my stuff piled up back here. Yeah, look at that sweet boy. Mm hmm. Yep. Yeah. Uh, let me get my this notes out. Very cute. Shall we begin the Dungeons and the Dragons? Yeah, let's I do know. it now. I'm let's... kind of over it. Yeah, over, it. over it. Done. Okay. I mean, you weren't here, and so I kind of got out of the groove. <laughs> yeah. I just oh. want to get back into it. I, I need to. I need to move five minutes away from the studio again because I'm not reckoning with that. Oh, I forgot you oh, moved further I away. was literally five minutes away. Yeah. It, it could have been 7.55. You were still late, though, uh, so I'm not sure wow. if that's the okay. issue. That's, mm. I mean, I only say it because I am, too. <sighs> we're it, in this together, Tom. <laughs> we're bad garbage it's, people. It, it, it is a, a ongoing struggle for me to be punctual. I agree. Uh, yeah. All right. So some some fun things have been um, broken open by the chat here. We'll see what else they managed to uh, crack in oh, terms hello. of <laughs> Mooper. Are you made of fries? <laughs> Do you have French fries for Luigi? Are you made of fries? Name everybody who has French fries for Luigi. Tom. That's me. That's the only person. All right. So. Uh, did you give a recap of what happened? No, mm -hmm. I didn't get there. Okay, who would, who would like to share the highlights? I don't know, who? <laughs> How about Megan? You go. 
Yeah. What did we do like? Well, Megan, you watched most of the show I while you're right, mm -hmm. right? What happened so. from the otter's point of view? <laughs> did I take any notes? Lots of wonderful dreams. I think I was really into this otter thing. I don't know if I took any notes. We uh, we went on our journey to uh, like we met up with Xanathar and we're like, yeah, yeah, we'll go to the Barrier Peak. Uh, Megan wasn't here, so her character Barry was a baby Peak. otter. Yeah, and uh, we, we, uh, Xanathar, Here's a gift. <laughs> Xanathar is like, here's this airship captain who's going to take you on her awesome magical glass airship. We rode around that, and then we're like, hey, you know, we could go to the Barrier Peak, but instead let's go to the Cloud Giant Kingdom and have a big feast. Uh, some of us will steal from them. Uh, we'll now, have... To be fair, the, the, cloud, the cloud Giant Castle was unlocked through a chat tier that was called Temptation. So it was just floating was there. You did not. Effective. You did not have to stop if you didn't want to. Do you know us, Tom? Come on. <laughs> well, I We're do know you. Yes. <laughs> Very much so. <clears throat> we slash spazzes. Yeah. So you got to go around, buddy. The over here, no. buddy. No. So Avril and <laughs> the <laughs> air captain stole a bunch of stuff that they'll never miss. Uh, and then uh, we have a big feast where Thon got really drunk and was like, "Look at our cool dragon tattoos." And uh, turns out, cloud giants. Not fans of dragons. Uh, and then that immediately ended the thing, and we had to kind of sneak away before we were murdered or imprisoned. You bunch of dicks. You barely snuck away, as a matter of fact. Uh, no, I rolled pretty well in my persuasion. <laughs> yeah, yeah, three of you did, and, one, and I don't remember who, who it botched fun. it. It was oh, fun. Yeah, he was drunk and fun. He literally totally just like, fell okay, come on. first. Come on, There's come here and lay down. Here. Who you put the box? You can't jump over Why? the box. No. It's so little. It's too little to I'm jump a delicate, over. I'm a delicate. programming. Oh, oh, buddy. What was yeah. that? Did it make his a noise? Harness, You're okay. His harness hooked no, on the box. No, he hit the dice box. <laughs> we did that like maybe a touchdown <laughs> happened. <laughs> did you do a okay, touchdown? Come on. Come on. Oh, oh, my God. He's so You're scared. okay. Come on. Come on. He doesn't trust you anymore. Come on. No. You're yeah, dead good boy. Him. He's the studio's dog now. All right. <laughs> <laughs> he flies um, to heaven. Yeah. <laughs> Quick story about uh, my dog Luigi. Uh, my wife. <coughs> my wife. My wife. Uh, he used to sleep on the couch all the time, and my wife had a had a Wii U, you know, with those giant freaking remote controls. Mm -hmm. And she put it. She always used to put it on the back of the couch, right? Just like we just lay it there and leave it there. And he would jump up on the couch and lay down on the couch. And the, but she always had the remote there. And at some point, he jumped on the couch and it was placed in just enough of a way that it, like slid forward and it. Wonk, hit him in the back. He did not lay down on the couch. He would not get up on the couch. Three years. Three years Three he would years. not get on the couch. We wow. finally, after like like begging and treats and begging and treats, finally got him to start coming up on the couch and stuff like that. That's wow. how much of a Freddy cat oh. my dog is. <clears throat> He's a delicate flower. Mm. That's okay. We love him regardless. Um, so, yes, you bid a hasty escape from the Cloud Giant castle. And uh, so, <clears throat> Ava, you you're, the last thing you remember is you're back in Waterdeep and you kind of hear this almost like dreamy kind of voice and it's the voice of Kasharla calling you. <clears throat> And uh, as as her voice echoes in your head, you you know you kind of like you, it feels like you fall asleep almost, right? Your eyes close and you feel kind of like embraced in the sudden warmth. <clears throat> and then there's a quick splash. And when you open your eyes, you are a little sea otter, mm -hmm. and you're swimming in the ocean. And Masharla is swimming next to you. She's also a sea otter. Mm -hmm. And you swim back and forth. You're playing a little bit. And then she slaps her tail in the water and she begins to dive. And you dive too and you swim down, down, down to the depths of the ocean and you pass schools of tuna, uh, you pass a, a, the forms of a couple enormous whales mm -hmm. that kind of pass by. <clears throat> and then finally you see sort of the um, swirling tentacles of an enormous gargantuan squid. You're, you're engulfed by the blackness of the depths of the sea. Uh, and then down below you, you can see this, this glowing area. There's a huge bell that's mounted on the front of a ship, and it glows with some sort of mystical or magical light. Uh, it's almost enveloped in, in this haze of roiling green. You're not sure if it's fumes or what sort of magical effect is creating this, right? <clears throat> 
But it's mounted at the at the bow of this ship, and the rest of the ship is this broken, crushed shipwreck at the bottom of the ocean. And you hear uh, Pasharla's voice say, Ava, this is my body. It is broken. It cannot be mended. If I am to return to the world of the sea, I need a new body. Your friends are on a journey to the cradle of the gods. I want you to go there with them. I want you to harness the god's fire. You can tame its chaotic essence, its chaotic flames with your sacred essence. And you can use that power to forge me a new vessel for my body. That way, I may return to you, and we may swim together once again in the brisk, tempestuous ocean, instead of here in the Sea of Dreams. And <clears throat> with that, you know, the, the, the light in the bell goes out, and the darkness uh, engulfs you again, and then you wake up, uh, and you're slumped against, uh, against Avril, who's also like a, a, asleep, kind of like sitting next to, like, or sitting in a bunk inside this strange glass ship. You're asleep? <laughs> Avril, you're snoring. Oh, uh, hey, Ava. <laughs> you're Where? a human shape again. Yep, that's good. Th that's great. How are you feeling? I feel I feel really good. I've learned some really good information. But where where are we? Uh, well, we're on a, a, a you know a glass skyship. <laughs> you know what I mean? No. So you know, like a boat. Uh huh. Okay. This is like a boat. Uh huh. But in the sky. What? And it's made of glass. What? You know, Wait. like when sand gets real hot. Uh. I mean, uh, like and lightning it's glass. hits. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. It's like that. But what do you mean we're in the sky? We're like, um, you know, up very high where the clouds are. <laughs> it's it's not difficult to test the truth of her words because you can see right through the floor of the ship and you can see clouds. It's it's oh, nighttime, it's so it's it's dark <laughs> below you, but you can see like reflections of moonlight from the trees and the mountains below. Uh, little little reflections of the moon off the, off rivers and lakes. I think Ava's gonna freak out. <laughs> I mean, if it's just glass, she could be like, "Oh my god, oh my god!" And a normal person would actually. <laughs> I'm not sure why we're comfortable with it. So the floor is glass, oh my basically. God. But like, where where what are we on? Like a hammock or a, a the entire the so so the strange thing is, the entire ship is clear. All of the structure of the ship is completely clear. It, you can just see trace outlines of where edges meet. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> a lot like, you know, the invisible jet from Wonder Woman, mm -hmm. right? That same effect is in place <clears throat> with her and with Thawne. Like, you can see the forms of all of these, of, of you know. Uh, <laughs> so everything just looks see-through? Every, yeah, everything is transparent but outlined, She's right? So you can recognize what it is. <laughs> and you, feel... you put your hand up and you can see straight through yeah. it. No. Yeah. <laughs> Screaming, running around, <laughs> freaking out, trying to find something that is solid. <laughs> All right, what what would the? Uh, I, it's not going to take much. To, the, I assume this freak out is of grand enough scale that you would all wake up. Oh yeah, for, yeah. At, regardless. Uh, and I, I it's assume it's going to be okay. But you know, I can see everything. We're no, really far from the and I don't. We should we should go down. We should go down there. Super thick glass. No, and it's fine. but I can. You, I look, can't even look, see you. I'm just, this I'm is not. This is not how people. This is not how things work. Oh. This is not okay. how things work. We have to, who's, okay. who's flying this thing? Let we me, must go fly, let find Let me tell them. you real quick, you've been in the, the glass ship for a number of days, and nothing bad is happening to oh you. Look, you're still here. Are we here. done then? Can we get down? I don't, okay, this is not, not normal. Okay, not necessarily right now, but I'm just saying, you've already survived like several days in the ship, so you'll probably continue several to do days. so. Several days? I was in, I was in the ocean. I was in water, and now I'm above water, and I'm way too above. We shouldn't be this high above water. Here. I know what you're feeling. It's not natural. It's insane. But I'm sure 
Torm, much like Barshala, wants us to go this way. And they are, it's just one of their many tests to make sure that we are strong enough for what is to come. Is it flying through the air? It's, they work in mysterious ways. We can't understand them, but they test us every day. Okay. This is just one of their many tests. This doesn't seem like a normal t- test it's not, for but Do you like? expect normal tests from, from the gods? Uh, I mean, no, I don't know. Yes. Uh, this just normally focus. involves water. Yeah. Just saying, if we fall from this hat, we will probably land in the ocean. Good idea, we should do that. Uh, okay, no, but we let's should not purposely do it. I'm just That's saying, not a good idea. if you're worried about falling, you know, we might end up in some sort of body of water. We should do, water is better no. to travel through. No. It's much, yeah. Do you want me to just pour a, a glass on you? I don't, I don't know. It's how not, not, you no. don't, if you pour water on you, you're not traveling through. It's not how water oh, works out. Okay, I thought maybe you just wanted to be you no, know, I want to be covered. In, should, why why don't you just go back to sleep? Uh, our captain, Taika, she's flying the ship. You can see her over there. Yeah, why don't you? Can you put this down? No, don't. <laughs> can you put it down? We have a destination. We have to go. How, how much further? I, Soon? And, 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 and Taika says, let me, let me just, uh, let, let me just show you something. And uh, she adjusts something on, at the helm where she is. And all of a sudden the ship like comes back into like full like existence and you're, you know, opaque, your normal like, you know, shape, you know. My color. body's back, look, <laughs> you can see it and I have my tattoo. It's yeah. back in your back and your back. This is way better. Can we still not be on in the air? Uh, uh, actually, if we're gonna fly like this, we have to go, and she pulls on the uh, on the mast and, or, the, or, the, or, the, or the wheel and all of a sudden the ship starts rising up what? towards the clouds, okay, well, going higher, see. higher, higher, higher. I'm pretending this is down. Just, just go back to sleep, Ava. It'll be all right. We'll wake up and we'll maybe that. we'll be there. How can you go to sleep when you're in the air like this? How about you turn back in? an otter that was fun i didn't do that oh <laughs> but it was fun i did enjoy it, but i didn't do that and within like a minute and a half you're completely engulfed in the clouds right so you just you can't you just see like mist and fog just coming over the deck uh, um, clouds are the ocean of the sky some say so <laughs> in a way no one has ever so said that <laughs> yeah. so someone has said it well, so at least say the sky is like the ocean it. of the sky it's blue clouds aren't blue what no but the, right clouds aren't blue but they are made of water. Like, well, what? Te- technically, water isn't blue either. It's just it's because of the reflection. That's true. What? That's true. Okay. How many what? points do you think Ava has? How, How many, many hit points? Yeah. Are you gonna fucking try to knock Don't her out? Ava. I'm not. Murder! I'm just saying, I have access to sleep. She feels but very, if, like, 45. No, we do not need to cast a spell <laughs> to calm one of our. We just have to make it a game. Mm-hmm. You got games, don't you, Ava? I mean, would they involve being on the ground in like games? Well, let's see. Let's play this game called Don't Freak Out. And it's we, we see how long each of us can go before we freak out. And whoever goes the longest wins. I feel like she has 78 hit points. I think like that's real high yeah. for Ava. I mean, well, it depends on the roll. You'd have to roll pretty well. Yeah. You could upcast it though, couldn't you? Yeah, or is no, that, that, up, that, that's that, max that's upcast? That's upcasting at second level. Mm-hmm. 78. Mm-hmm. Um, so, so, uh, t- <laughs> Taika hears, you know, Taika <laughs> hears all of this going on, right? And, uh, she says, oh, I, I've got a little something, uh, that we call our smooth sailing potion. And she gets out a little glass bottle with a cork in the top and she says, have a little nap. What, what, what is it? It's a smooth sailing potion. Make you feel right as rain. Okay, uh, I'll drink like half of it. Okay, well it's <gasps> got, it's whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. And so as you go 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 go, she's like, well, that, 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 either our problems are going to be solved, or we're going to have a lot more problems in a short order. <laughs> <laughs> Is it burning? It's, it's okay. gonna be smooth in a minute. Yeah, good. Now go <gasps> to sleep. Just fall asleep <laughs> now. <laughs> you just like go to sleep. Go to sleep, go to sleep. It's gonna be Don't great. Throw it's poison. Don't throw it's up. Poison. Don't throw up. Poison. It's so hot. Give me a constitution <laughs> save. Oh god. Is, oh, oh god. god. My god. It's alcohol Half poison. a bottle of whiskey. I would die. Yeah, I would mine's just die. Uh, okay, 20. 20, all right. Oh. Um, so. Expert drinker. <laughs> it, yeah, it smooths, smooths up pretty quickly. Uh, you do yeah. not, like, you do not get violently ill. But, yeah, again, probably two or three minutes later, your world starts to kind of, like, 
spin a little bit and okay oh. all right we're just gonna sit down Stop so moving. we don't fall okay i'll i, I can't i'm still. having a great time okay how many of there are you though how many is a good number how many I mean, do you see? Normally there's one of you, but I don't know. Can you so like, like split themselves in half like this? It's an not? illusionary oh. spell. You can do spells? Y yes. Ta-da! <laughs> I've said that before. Uh, it's recent development. What is where multi-class? Otter. It's where, uh, you know, I'm okay. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh, sorry. That's my dog. <clears throat> Uh, you know, like I do rogue stuff, I, I, you know, but, you know, maybe I cast some spells too. Why you know? are you hitting it this whole time? No, it's like, you know, it just happened she just now. She could be an arcane trickster. You know, sometimes people use it then. You're, you trick people then. Well, you've always known that. Yeah. But, uh, but how about we sit down? Okay. So we don't fall down. Just as long as everything stays uh, solid is good. Solid is good. No, no more see-throughs. Yeah. No more C3s, promise. Yeah. Oh, you guys are great. I don't know if you're promise that, but all right. Look at it's his drawings I did of you while well, you're an otter. Look, that's your little nose. Me? I'm cute. Yeah, you kept trying to break the skulls of these other little, uh, these little rats on the, in the um, boat on your tummy. It's so cute. Oh yeah, that's fun. I was I'm... really proud. <laughs> what? Okay. I mean, what? Thanks. I think. Yeah, uh, you're welcome. I think it's time for all of us to go back to sleep. So okay. let's just lay down and see yeah. what happens. We all take her to bed. Okay. <laughs> we get we, light as a feather, yeah. stiff as a board. <laughs> as she falls asleep, I put a hand on Thawne. I go, I grow up so fast, don't they? <laughs> uh, really makes you think. I jump off the ship. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, the good I grab you by the sword and I go, wait. And I unhook the <laughs> hey, hold on to this. Hey. So jelly. <laughs> All right. So um, the good news is that you were only about a day away from your you know, destination, or, or about a day away from the, the Great Peak Mountains. <clears throat> Uh, so it's it's not uh, not a super eventful. You know, you can make a lot of time actually overnight while you're sleeping and whatnot. Uh, when you wake up, mm, let's do a couple things here. First of all, uh, thanks to the donations of R.J. Canuck, Blind Seer, and N.C.R. Lutenon, and various David Flagel and various other people, B.S.B. Kershimixen, we have unlocked two more bumps for everyone. Thank you. Wow! Wow! wow. wow. Mm -hmm. Bump City. Is there a boss fight today or something? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or there wasn't and now there is. <laughs> I'm not making any comments on anything. No. Well, no. I watch uh, or Disorganized Ooh. Play every week, so. <laughs> Thank you. All right, well, that's, know. it's you and Chuck Eric. Chuck, Chuck you Farley. Farley. Yeah. yeah. Wow, you. 35. <clears throat> that's a lot. <laughs> So are you doing are you doing your best Minnesotan? Is that what's happening? Oh no, she was doing her. Uh, uh, what is it? Oh, fuck, I forgot his name. The guy. Mm. Oh, never mind. Yeah, Chris mm. Farley. No, I was gonna say it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay. Now I gotta know. Mm. Mm. Matt uh, Damon. No. <laughs> Matt, D Matt Damon. Very good. Um, but <laughs> in five minutes, I'll scream a celebrity name. Mm -hmm. Owen Wilson. Oh. 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 And wow. what's he say? He says wow. He says wow. 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 Uh, when you when you wake up, you have you realize you have some time kind of on your hands, and you didn't really spend uh, you didn't really have a moment because you were in, you know in a hurry to like take off and escape the cloud giant fortress, right? Um, you and uh, Taika sit down, and you're like start emptying your pockets and going through, and like, well, okay, what did you get? And you start you know kind of assembling like your giant pile of loot, right? So you've, you stole a complete set of silver dinner utensils. I don't know if you want to write this down or not. Uh, What's it worth? 500 gold pieces. What? Damn. Mm -hmm. uh, you stole a dragon scale choker uh, that has little jade inlays. I want that IRL. Mm okay. <laughs> well, that's worth 1,300 gold pieces. <laughs> There's an ebony statue of a cloud giantess 
It looks like it was specifically commissioned to be the likeness of somebody in the I feel castle. very rude that we stole that. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> 2,000 gold pieces. Oh, never mind. Wait, we all stole this? <laughs> this is between her and Tyke. Okay, cool. Right? I was like, I'm never stealing anything. <laughs> uh, there's dumb. an Electrum <laughs> tiara that has gold accents. A what sort of tiara? Electrum. Mm, it's a, it's a, like an alloy. It's a, it's, it's a semi-precious. It's like a cross between like copper and okay. something else. It's worth like what, five gold? 500 <laughs> gold pieces. Lols. Uh, what we needed was more money. <laughs> Off the table, you stole an ivory goblet that is inlaid with steel. Very fine steel. Uh, 700 GP. Damn. At some point, you did steal at least a portion of a tapestry that was threaded with platinum. <clears throat> so that's 300 gold pieces. Some fine leather boots. Where did you keep all this? Well, it was between the two of you, right? Oh, okay. Or between the between two of them. Guys. We should yeah. just go buy a whole town. And some of this stuff is... <laughs> that is so a really good idea. We can name it Avrilville. <laughs> Avrilville. Avrilville. <laughs> we have all this money, and I had to, I had to get a, a crime lord to buy me armor. <laughs> <clears throat> um, you just liked how it felt, having that, having that rich daddy buy you something nice. <laughs> <laughs> Santa Thar <laughs> Sugar Daddy. <laughs> There's a porcelain puzzle box. Oh wait, how much for the boots? Uh, 110 gold pieces. Ooh. And Thank you said a music box? Thank you uh, a wow. porcelain puzzle box. So that's a right. <laughs> keep, are you keeping track? Have yeah, you yeah. written it down? Okay, good. Yes. How much is that? 120 gold pieces. Just keep that. Put, so, uh, put you know, all my so fun worried. stuff in there. Attack Luigi. Put my weed in there. <laughs> Put my weed Attack. in it. Hey, buddy. Dog sized. Get him. No, Table sized dog. Uh, there's oh, there's a very up. fine I'm silver pin pet. that's inlaid with brass. I want to pet you so bad, but I can't lean anymore. How much is that? That's 130 gold pieces. Yeah, that's place. Just like black. Like laser. a pin? Yeah, like a pin. Like yeah, you wear a writing pin mm -hmm. or a wearing a pin. No, a wearing a pin. P I N. Okay. Uh, there is a small carpet threaded with brass. Carpet? Mm-hmm. Fucking, I, that was fucking, that was not me. you put all this in your pocket carpet. or like, how did this work? <laughs> I have a backpack. It must be huge. It's not just well, me. Well, between the two of them, you know, I mean, the, the tapestry and the carpet were the, the trickier I, things I to I do, steal, yeah, wonder but, the size of a but, giant carpet. But these are all <laughs> giants belonging. So, so as, they're much bigger than so the So as we were escaping in the middle of the night, we had like a roll of carpet and we're like, <laughs> yeah. we brought this with us. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, way, the way this is set up is that um, these were the things that were human size that you could steal. Yeah. They're not oh. the like there was a bunch of stuff that was far nicer and probably mm -hmm. far more expensive sure. but you couldn't Unrealized actually time. physically carry that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -uh. Um, and then finally there is a uh, what looks like um, 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 like a I guess a makeup kind of like a, a, a brass makeup okay. jar. Right, it has a, like it has a lid. It's 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 brass, like like that. You might put p powder and a and a oh sure and a and a um, compact a, yeah like a, a, yeah a, but a but poof. bigger right yeah a little poofer and yeah but bigger like this right. But when you take the top off, it begins to spin of its own accord, and the top is a looks like some sort of clockwork spider. It goes like this, and in the bottom you can see that there is. Um, there's a, a little gem kind of like screen thing, right? And you can you can see like this very narrow kind of fuzzy vision of apparently what the spider is seeing. You can't control it, but like you can set it down and point it in, you know, essentially wind it up and set it in a direction and it goes that way and you can see in, inside this bowl like what it's seeing. If Mind Rider was a thing. It's <laughs> my favorite thing to do in EverQuest. Uh, sorry, how much was the carpet worth? <laughs> 180 gold pieces. Okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. All right. <clears throat> so, 
<laughs> thanks to chat, uh, I know a god has been unlocked. Ooh. If you would like to invoke a deity and uh, question their avatar <clears throat> for three yes no questions, that's available to you. Everyone gets two more bumps. That's her. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, damn. Ooh, we're so bumpy now. <laughs> we so bumpy. My lovely lady bumps. <clears throat> so, Thank you. those are yours, those are mine, uh, and some other stuff has happened. All right, which is all great. So, no, 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 yes. All right. So, uh, as I sort of explained in the last session, session before, whatever, as you get close to, you, you, you fly over this huge swamp called the High Moor, right? Uh, it's partially swamp, also just a bunch of like wet marshland kind of hills and whatnot. <clears throat> uh, you fly over the, the, the south wood here and you approach the Gray Peak, the range of the Gray P Peak Mountains. Um, you have this map that kind of indicates kind of the area that you, you, you think you should go, but <clears throat> as you get over the foothills, you can tell that the entire mountain range is wreathed in this suffocating haze of rusty brown smog, right? So it, there's these, these kind of fulminating clouds of smog that, that kind of well up either from the crater here or from the various hot springs and geysers that apparently are scattered throughout this area. Uh, and it f forms this, this thick, choking smog that really prevents you from seeing exactly where where the mountain ranges might be and whatnot. And Taika kind of slows the craft down. She's like, eh, how do you want to go about this? Well, I could create a cube of force around everybody as we're going through it. Mm -hmm. uh, do you know if it clears up once we land? Are we going to be okay to breathe when we're down there or? <clears throat> Uh, I haven't been here, so I don't know. Oh, right. Uh, we should find the... Because, yes, we can get down there, but if the, if the smog is still there, we can't leave the cube of force. Yeah, I mean, um, I don't know. We can, we can at least look. Yeah, if it doesn't worth... clear up, I guess we could, we could exit the, the smoke and think of something else after that. It's worth a shot. How... Uh... When when you activate your cube of force, how long does that screen out toxic vapors mm. effect last, and how many charges does it use? Like an hour, and I think like one. Let me look it up. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. Give me another Constitution save, please. <clears throat> no, natural twenty. So twenty one. You wake up, you feel right as rain. <laughs> So much better. <laughs> oh wait, but I have to roll. I just woke yeah, up. Yeah, gases, wind, and fog can't pass through. That's one charge. Okay. Yeah. Uh, hmm. Very on you amuse with you and last for. Oh, it's only one minute. I feel like I used it for so long before, but I guess that was combat. Yeah. Uh, one minute in combat. It was a long time. I think there's various versions of that thing too. Like there might have been a previous version where it used to last for an hour, but I think they just standardized everything to be a shorter duration. <clears throat> All right. Well, so how many charges total would you have? It has like 36 or something like yeah, that, right? Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah. So, but I mean, that only gets you half an hour, right? Yeah. So. Go go fires. So. Um, <laughs> so Tyke is like uh, half an hour of scouting, and then it's out. Yeah, you got a better idea? Uh, it's, it's your dime. <laughs> uh, I mean, Taika, you have these, I mean, wind people things that operate your ship. Can they be used in some way to clear a path? Oh, uh, they're, they're not elementals, they're spirits. Uh, maybe we can continue flying until we find the spot that isn't covered in smog. Land a little, a little farther away. Uh, we we can try. Yeah, I mean we can. I mean, so we're in no rush. So, so the the choice the choice that's ahead of you is you can either sort of like land 
in these foot in this foothills area, <coughs> and then kind of pick your way through on you know on foot. Um, or you can try to sc scout around, but you're going to be you know at a disadvantage just because you're flying through this soup that that you're either going to have to take steps to mm -hmm. keep it out, or it may become problematic for you. Um, and so those are, you know, either, you, you could do, you know, she's like, well, we could do a quick kind of like move as fast as we can. I mean, if we're in the cube of force, we could just jump out of the ship. <laughs> uh, but what if, what if it's covered in smog down there? Then Taka comes and gets us. Why don't we just stay on the ship? While we're down there. Well, then we get down there faster. We're exploring while Taka's taking the time to get down. So maybe by the time she gets down with the airship, we're, we've already scouted enough to know what's going on. We can just hop on the ship and go back up rather than all take the time to go through the smoke in this slow thing. You know, I don't know. Cuts the travel time in half for at least some of us. Is there a way we can call you when... We need <clears throat> you to come pick us up, or no? I oh. mean, uh, same time we go at the same time, right? Yeah, I'm just I asking. Don't know how I'm slow just, it goes. Oh yeah, I'm just yeah, asking yeah. in general. And, and she uh, she goes back to the to the back of the ship, kind of the whatever the that aft castle area is, and she knocks on a plank where there's a notch. There's a big hole there. It looks like there was a notch in the board that's been knocked out, and. Uh, and suddenly you see a little clockwork bird uh, kind of jump up into the hole, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, she puts her finger out and the bird jumps onto the finger and then she hands it over to you. Oh, hello, friend. <clears throat> is, is, this is how we call you. Uh, yeah, you just uh, uh, let me know you're here. You can speak any message you like, up to 20 words, and then uh, throw it in the air. It flies back up to here to the little roost. Wow, that's incredible. What, what do you call this thing? Oh, uh, I call him Pika. Pika? <coughs> Pika. Pika. Hello, Pika. It's uh, nice to meet you. Can I put it away? Does it just sit on my shoulder? Oh, or oh yeah. Pika, go to sleep. And, it, and, the, and it, the legs like literally retract and it just falls over. <laughs> oh, all right. I'll just hold this. Thank you. That's uh, it's, it's very good to know we have a way out if we need it. Uh, yeah. Why, why are all the gods of storm evil? <laughs> oh. 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 Well, it doesn't have to be you that calls it. Although I don't know any storm gods. <laughs> it's not my jam. I uh, love storms. Uh, it might be Ava's jam. It might be Ava's jam. I, uh, if we land near the mountains or forest, I can help us traverse much faster and quicker through it. But that's, that's all I can help here. As a ranger, I'm good at that. I, I have warding wind, which creates wind around me, but I don't know how helpful that would be. Hmm. How long does it last? Um, right, time 10 minutes. Ava, push her up. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Well, I say we use. But if it's it magical fog and isn't affected by the spell, and then she just suffocates. <laughs> yeah, it says it hedges out vapor, gas, and fog that can be dispersed by strong wind. Okay. Well, I think let, let's 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 try Avril's idea. The cube of force isn't. At least we can scout for a little bit. Yeah. And then if we need to go, I can always use Pika. Mm-hmm. So. Oh wait. I got this spider thing. <laughs> What spider thing? Um, I mean, the I may have uh, you know borrowed some things from the giants, and uh, and one of the things I got was. Uh, I mean, lying doesn't make it any any. I don't know. I care. feel like you're such a sensitive little baby boy. Yeah, you know, say, you kind of like, lack when I lie to you. I've, but it only when it's. I mean, if it's not obvious. But, uh, you stole. Just say you stole. Lying. I stole some shit. That's fine. I mean, it's not fine, but thank you for being honest. Well, okay, but sometimes you're like... Kind of forces it out of her. I like to, I like to think that this shit isn't happening, so I just try to facilitate that. Sorry I care. You could have said, like, I bought this in... I don't buy things. You just told her not to lie. Listen, Make up your I'll mind. try harder next time. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Lie better. Oh, at least. Mm. Oh, I found this. Jeez. <laughs> uh, but it's like it's like this little. Here, I'll show you. 
and then the spider comes out, and then and then I've got, in the top here I can see what it sees. Not, mm. it's not super clear, but also I'm not sure if it'll survive the drop. But we could go drop it off, and then you're not sure what the range is. Bring it back. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, What's your range, you? little bud? <laughs> it does not communicate with you. We'll put it on the ground. Is it wave or anything? Yeah. No. Oh. No. It, it doesn't seem to have any put it on the ground market it intelligence. Go, like, you can't see it anymore. That's its range. Like the, the fact that it's a spider is just sort of like the uh, kind of a novelty a aspect in terms of you 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 wind it up and put it down on the ground and it just keeps going straight forward in a straight line. It doesn't. Oh, can't like, direct it at all. No. Wait. What is the range of wave now? 60 feet. Not, fa not far. Not far, but if we could throw him just below and you could catch him back, you could scout for a little bit at least. You we, could see past I mean, the cloud. We could try. It's worth a shot. That or the cube of force. Uh -oh. What do you those. think, bud? <laughs> well, I mean, I, I think it's an it's a issue of scale, right? Like, these are bi like big clouds. Mm. Like, I don't, okay. I'm not. He would also just be spinning the whole time. I'm not <laughs> sure what he would perceive. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> wah, 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 wah. I don't know. Like, I didn't you see also anything, have to keep, but that was fun. You have to keep in mind that it's <laughs> like it's like fifteen or twenty feet to the bottom of the, just to the bottom of the ship, right? Like you can right, see right. Th you can see through the ship if you turn the ship invisible. Oh, that's so right. you're only getting another forty feet if you throw well, sixty feet out and failed. it comes Let's back. <laughs> like gave up. Like Let's you can. Land. Let me put it this way: you guys can figure land. out some way to either make a quick scouting run. That's what I was through the yeah. fog, kind of like as fast as. Take a dares to drive the ship, but you know there's a possibility you might crash into something or be affected by the toxic smog that engulfs the place. Can, make or it. you can do a little bit more, a, a little slower, more measured yep. approach where you start from below and kind of work your way up. This is just like PUBG. We're just picking a drop zone. Yeah. Let's pick one that isn't mm -hmm. prison. heavy Obviously. with poison. Always prison. Always, Always prison. prison. Uh, let's do cube of force. Wall. That sounds like a good idea. Okay. But are we jumping? No. We probably well, become mush at the bottom, don't we? As the cube falls, and then we're just like so. bouncing in there <laughs> and just splash. It's okay, though. Why would we be well, okay? Right. How many? Um, I mean, you'd need to activate the full powers of the cube in order to try and survive a fall off of the ship, right? <laughs> I'm just saying you can't go the full 36 minutes of keeping the vapors out if you're going to save some charges for. Thank Food stamp you. hustler. Thanks, Thanks for seven up. Um, so just keep that in mind. If that's okay, if fine. That's, we won't jump out of the plane. I'm not saying that you can't do it. <laughs> I'm, I'm saying you have to. <laughs> you, I'm saying you have to account for those charges if that's something that you want to do. No, that seems dangerous. I understand. <laughs> All right. I guess I don't want my brain to be squashed on my own cube force. <laughs> that makes sense. For 36 minutes, her dead body is protected by the... <laughs> Can't touch this. All right. <laughs> so... I think if I broke concentration, I would stop. Uh, I'm really distracted by my brains oozing out of my skull. Let's see what happens here. All right. So you're going to essentially sort of head directly to where you think this crater is the best that you can and to kind of negotiate the mountain passes and well, stuff. Well, I know as exactly where it is. Best as you it's can. in my brain. <laughs> <laughs> Burned in there. Uh -uh. Um, I feel it. All right. <clears throat> so I'm going to roll for Tyka's navigational skills here. I don't think I sh one of us should get to roll for it. You're ha you've got cursed DM hands. Or text texter. <gasps> oh yeah, <laughs> Elise, she said Elise, a twenty. Give, give me a number between one and twenty. Yeah, all right. Bad. So um, so yeah, she is able to. I mean, she's used to navigating in the uh, and kind of like flying without being able to see exactly where she's going. And she doesn't go at breakneck speed, but she does manage to avoid some of the major. Um, obstacles around you. So why don't you all either give me perception checks or intelligence investigation checks. Um, I'm gonna say that it's at disadvantage because you are kind of flying through the clouds here and stuff. Right? All right, you negate it. You negate it. 
Mm-hmm. Thirteen. Ooh. Uh, seven. Mm-hmm. Four. Uh, eighteen. Is that a disadvantage? Oh, I'm sorry. I miss. I wasn't paying attention. Uh-huh. Uh, twelve. Twelve. All right. So high is thirteen, right? Okay. <clears throat> um, you don't get because of the clouds. You don't get close enough to the actual crater, crater to see, you know, what's coming out of it or anything like that, right? You you think you're in the area. Some things that you do notice as you are navigating the valley here or the, the kind of climbing up into the mountain range itself, the Great Peaks themselves. Uh, <clears throat> you notice that there are a number of, like the, 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 the mountain range itself seems to be studded with little trios of mountain goats who are all kind of, like they all seem to pack up in like, like three of them gotcha. um, that, uh, that are just grazing around the various um, uh, little little outcroppings of rock and grass and tufts of uh, of, of vegetation that was scrounging up whatever they can find. <laughs> oh my god! Just don't hurt it. <laughs> that gnome it's was a giant goat. It's like <laughs> that gnome was very specific. Don't kill goats. <laughs> so, oh my god! I forgot. Yeah, that PowerPoint said don't kill the goats. I forgot. Ooh, yeah, that was. <laughs> but I immediately went. <laughs> so that, that's one thing that, that, that strikes you. You do see, a, 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 as you get closer to what you think that where the crater might be, you're, you're not going to be able to get right up on it, but as you get closer where you think that the, the crater might be, there's a number of different hot springs that are overflowing from the side of the mountain. There's a lot of geologic activity going on here, and it makes you wonder, like, is there a volcano in this mountain range? Um, is that what's causing all of these fumes? And and, and, and whatnot, um, you know, the, the entire mountain range seems to kind of be smoking off this like grotesque fog. Uh, occasionally, you see a group of maybe it looks like seagulls. They 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 look white-ish, um, maybe gray-ish. Uh, there's these swarms of birds that fly in complete concentric circles. They are, and they're kind of like windmilling around. Uh, you're not sure what what they are from the distance that you're at, um, and you. The, the other thing that you see, you notice, is there d seems to be a distinct lack of trails up and down the mountainsides, right? Like if this place was inhabited by a significant amount of either game or people, you would see trails on, in, in the in the in the in the rock and along on, along the path. You know, there'd be paths created. You don't see those things, but. <clears throat> Uh, off on one of these lower mountains, as Tyka goes, well, you know, our time's almost up. I'm going to have to turn her around. Um, you do see a small stone hut set in the side of the mountain. And that's the one thing that definitely catches uh, your attention, right? It's, it's not difficult to spot, but you're all kind of like crouched together inside the, the cube. So... It is it covered in that smog, or is it? Why did you? Oh! It's a little, it's, it's <laughs> lower, there. right? So it's as as you're turning around and I'm coming back it. out, you can see that uh, uh, you know it's it's down the hill. It's on a it's, it's on a lower set mountain, and it doesn't seem to no, it doesn't seem to be covered in smog. It, either there's like a natural kind of like wind current that flows through there that keeps the smog off, but it's just sort of like perched jauntily on the side of the of the mountain there. And, uh, and it's a small either stone hut or some sort of stone structure. It looks like it's, um, it's, it's stone with some sort of like stretched hide for a roof. Hmm. It seems well, like a good place as any to start. If there's no smoke there, then. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Uh, Taika says, do you want to go in? Ooh. Stealth mode, or is that going to be all right? Maybe uh, just drop um. us off, and then we'll uh, we'll let you leave, and then we'll knock on the door. Ah, all keep, right. Keep the ship out um, of sight. Oh yeah, he probably doesn't have windows or anything. Oh, I suppose not. I don't know. 
What if we go invisible, Ava? Will you be okay? It's just for a little bit. We're closer to the ground. I feel a lot better. Oh, now. yeah, she's drunk. It's fine. <laughs> no, she's. this is the next morning. Oh. oh, I just feel a lot better. Whatever it was you gave me worked really well. It, it, we call that fly right potion. Oh, yeah. that's it. You call it what? Fly right. Fly right. Yeah, helps you fly right. <laughs> Puts it back in a well, tub. I walked right into that. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you were saying like fluoride, and I was like, what? <laughs> Do not drink fluoride. He was loopy. I feel great. Don't you guys feel great? It's such a pretty day. Yes. It, uh, look at this beautiful new land we're in. I know. Full of wonder and mystery. So nice and Poison pretty. smog. Yeah. Uh, okay. So we're just gonna we're just gonna just turn the ship invisible and land and then we'll, okay. we'll be I'll on the ground. Okay, I'll close my eyes just in case. Okay, oh, good that's idea. Fair. That's a really great idea. All right, we're good talking. It ra raises the question of yeah. if you turn invisible and close your eyes, do you still see through your eyelids? <laughs> oh, yeah. or? Think we, go, we go insane. That means we can't sleep. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's already how I feel, honestly. What? When you close your eyes and you still see all the demons that torture you during the day. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about that later. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I get it. All right. So she turns the ship <laughs> invisible. Uh, how close do you want to have her put the, the glass worm down next to this? Put it on the roof. <laughs> yeah. She can, pull, she can pull up right you know, right on top yeah, of this thing if that's what you want. Yeah. I think... Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> Maybe, uh, maybe up above, kind of like on the on the ridge above the hut, so we okay. kind of have the upper hand as far as, you know, position. I sure. Like that. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Sounds great. So uh, she turns the, turns the craft invisible and sets it down, and uh, how big's the cube of force? Fifteen feet. Okay. <laughs> but the, the so, area where you guys are, just to be clear, oh, like the area where you are, you're sort of below the, 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 okay, the, okay. the smog, so we're below the smog that. area. Sorry. Right. So bef before we get into this <laughs> too far, uh, there's a couple things. A food stamp hustler gives a reroll to <laughs> Eric. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Nice. Thank oh. you. <laughs> Very good. Are you the hustler? Um, and uh, your hand and didn't land in it. And uh, <laughs> Ava, before before you guys disembark the ship and whatnot, you notice that in the cabin that the three of you were sharing, there's a very nice, nicely crafted spear that's like Ooh. leaned against the wall, mm. and uh, it it has a large um, two large pearls set into the the haft of the weapon on either oh. side. Yeah. Look a spear. Oh okay. yeah, that's yours. It's my spear? Yeah. You guys got me a spear? You did. That's so nice that you guys got me a spear. Yeah, your uncle Xanathar got it for you. I, he's oh. not my uncle. It was a joke, Ava. Oh, okay. You used to like jokes. Oh, jokes are fun. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. If anything, yeah. I'm your uncle, they're your parents. What? What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be anyone's mm -hmm. uncle because you're not a person. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> but you keep saying you're human. <laughs> He reiterates oh, it my. a lot. That's how you know he's bullshitting. First <laughs> lesson in bullshitting. Don't do that. You gonna cry? You gonna cry? I'm not gonna cry. Good start. Okay, so uh, you you sat down on this on this rocky outcropping, and there there are some trails around this stone hut. Um, which Thon to your eye looks indicates there's probably some sort of humanoid creature that lives in this thing. Oh. You would guess, you know, I'm not gonna make you roll for this, but okay. you would guess around average human size, medium size. So it doesn't look like this is like a giant size lair or the lair of particularly small creatures, right? Okay. It looks like you know roughly medium sized humanoid creatures. Um, live in the area. Jeff M0307 gives their reroll to <laughs> Megan. Ooh, thank you. Yes. All right. You got one yet? No, but it's not a competition. <laughs> well, going to tell them to give you one. I don't want one. I don't want any of them. Now you're going to get like 20. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, mm, 
I, what 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 would you like to do? You know, she sets kind of sh sets the ship down and just says, uh, "Happy Pika, give a shout," and then, brrr, and then you know, the ship literally Before, like. I, I would just want to listen, Taika. It's just wait. She's gonna go back up into the cloud. Isn't that what you wanted her to do? That's what she you said. She doesn't have the cube of force now. She's not going to go up and like. She's just gonna pull like. Oh, <laughs> should we never see her? <laughs> she Before dies. it's like, Taika. I just want to let you know. It just. I'm fl it just won't work between us. We live very what? different lives, and I just oh. want. I just, Are you, you know, breaking up I, with her? Are you saying it? It won't work, or you don't want to try and make it work. <gasps> I'm saying that my life is dedicated to Torm, and I don't have room in my heart for anyone else at the moment. Tell that to Stacy. I did. You know, Gregson, you're at the beginning of an adventure. But when you come to the end of an adventure, maybe it's time to start something new. Maybe. Okay. I might not be the same person at the other end. I might not be waiting around for you. It's fine, too. No, it's not. We need her to leave. <laughs> Please come back. Yeah, this is a really inappropriate time. <laughs> She's going to be back. This is going to be awkward on the airship together. <clears throat> oh, my. What are you rolling for? She's like, I, I know your type. Quiet. Reserved. You just need to have a little opportunity to come out of that metal shell. I've got all the time in the world, Grayson. There's no hurry. Safe travels. She's coming right back. <laughs> <laughs> it's <being> so awkward. <clears throat> yeah, use the bird if you need. I'll be watching from above. Uh, all right, sounds good. See you soon. It's so much better to be on ground. Did you guys love the ground? <laughs> you do. You do catch. You do catch a glimpse of her, like as she kind of like turns to walk away. She reaches into her coat, and you hear boom. <laughs> I, uh, I put my arm around Grayson as we see the ship go away. I say, it makes you think, huh? <laughs> it does. <laughs> oh my gosh! Did you roll for like her feelings? Yeah, you bet God! I did. Roll for feelings. Five being understanding, one being flips the fuck out and ditches us. Why, <laughs> <laughs> Grayson? Just like real Savannah, life. you're catching on to this oh, DMing damn. thing. Damn. <laughs> Tim Zinjado. That's a fun Thanks name. Up. Yeah, right? Very good. Zinjado. That sounds right. like a Star Wars. Uh, how would you like a to Star Wars. approach well, this so. structure? I'll go oh, first. I can use my spider now. Oh, you could. Sure. If you want to. Well, let's test it out. Yeah. I'll have it try and sneak in like a, a back window or something. It's, it I, looks I, like an old shit. Again, you can't control it, right? You're going oh, to have to like line it up and try and like you know bank shot it so that it goes through the you know. The, I should it, throw it. No, line it up so that you Posh can. Panda. Like. Thank you for the reset, Pashpanda. All right, nice. I could shoot it in there, but then there's an arrow in there. I could just yeah, that's it. not very sneaky. That you have to face the whole purpose. Okay, well, I'm not doing it. I just put it out there. <laughs> you just hit, we just say, ow! <laughs> oh, I'm shooting with an arrow. Oh, oh spider! <laughs> Let's find a different hut. Let's pretend all that happened. Burn it down! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe oh we God. should just go knock on the door. It's fair. Yeah, that's also, yeah. Why do we don't have to skulk around? This is I a new know. land. This is somebody who probably hasn't seen like another person in a long time. I mean, when we were looking around, there were no other structures. There were no paths that don't, people had been Give me taking. a survival check. Yeah, okay. Don't people live in this mountain? We don't know. Uh, oh. Well, I guess this oh, person this. does. We know one you, person does. We could ask him. You, what if he doesn't oh. recognize people and then he freaks out mm, and he tries to stab 23. us? Uh, I mean, that doesn't 23. Okay. So you gather a couple well, pieces of information. I've got a soft that bite. stand behind me. Now that you're closer, right? Mm -hmm. You can tell from the various prints going in and out of and around this stone hut. Number one is not particularly big, right? But for sure there's two different creatures who live 
you assume in here, right? Humanoids? Two different types of creature or just two, two separate? Two separate individuals, okay, gotcha. right? Okay, cool. Um, they, the tracks are, are an odd size to you, right? They look like, the best you can surmise is they might be dwarven boot prints, but like one of the boot prints is actually kind of worn. Um, and the, the toes that kind of like push through the print don't like Dorvan toes are really stubby and these are a little bit longer. They're not like, you know, anything weird, like they have claws on them or anything like sure. that. But like the footprint doesn't really, it's, especially the 23, you're like, they're Dorvan sized feet, but the feet aren't Dorvan. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, so that that's weird to you, but you you can tell there's there's two people. It looks like they actually do like come and go fairly frequently. There's a lot of you know there there is kind of this small spider web. This is the hub of 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 uh, activity where they kind of go off in different directions. <clears throat> um, and the other thing that you suspect is that they, they must be doing some sort of mining because there's a lot of like broken rock and various like like sorted piles of stuff, right? So there's sort of piles of crystal and there's, you know, like crystal gemstone, but it looks fairly like low value gemstone, like amethyst and things like that, right? Okay. Um, so that's that's what you suspect. There's a, there's, there's a lot of like worked flint and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, but it's not a very ostentatious or particularly refined setting. Like the the stonework of the hut is functional, but you can tell there's some gaps in it and things like that. It probably isn't particularly warm. Mm -hmm. um, it's certainly not mortared shut or anything like that. Um, they, by their tracks, they look like fairly somewhat civilized. Uh, at least they built this hovel for themselves and they do have a, some sort of work that they do. So I think just knocking on the door, maybe just one of us instead of all of us. I'll go. Uh, that's a good choice. Yeah. We'll just stand back and you can wave us in. Just, I mean, don't hide the fact that we're here. Just let them know that yeah. there are more of you, but you are a good front man for this. I'm going to hide though. Okay. Okay. One, maybe that's a better idea. Okay. One of us hides and you show them that there are two more. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go around, uh, flank the other side, and I'm going to get behind, uh, you know, like a large rock or a tree or something. Okay. Mm. All right. Um, I'll give give you advantage on this. Go ahead and make your stealth roll. I'm just curious how how well you managed to do this. Oh. Like pretty well. Oh. Um, <laughs> Nineteen plus that a was still bajillion. a fourteen. Um, <laughs> yeah, twenty nine. Twenty nine. All right. Oh, <laughs> so sneaky. <laughs> so you, you can turn say to the that they'll hear you though. Snake, 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 snake. You turn to the rest of the group and go, yeah, I'm just gonna hide behind this rock, and then and, and then you guys are like, okay, and she like literally like walks two steps and disappears. You have no wow. idea. <laughs> and then you hear, oh, oh can't see me. <laughs> Where am I? I'm over here. <laughs> oh, I'm a rock. All right. Um, uh, so, again, before we get too much further into this, Tim Zinjadu gives a reroll to... I don't know which way to point for any of this. Oh, everybody's uh, everybody's over this way. Yeah. No matter who they are, they're oh, over this way. Yep. Grav Gladi! Yay! It's a reroll. It's Devin Havana are this way. Me and Megan are this yeah. way. Well, that means that the Posh Pandas reroll goes to... Boop, boop! Megan! Oh, did I do it right? No, you pointed wait. at me. Well, but she's past you, so that's... Yeah, huh? I don't right. know. He's over here. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Watchman. There you, you go. Thank you, awesome. thank you. All right. So you're going to approach alone, and the two of you are going to stand back? Is that, oh, yeah, is just that, like 15 feet that's back. What, that's what's going to happen. Enjoying this environment. Mm -hmm. All right. So you walk up. Um, the, the wood of the door <laughs> is very weathered and dried out. It almost looks like... Um, planks of driftwood from like a, a, a wrecked ship, you know, like a sailing ship that the, the, the planks <laughs> be, you just got rejected by my dog. That doesn't happen very, well, actually it does happen <laughs> uh, sometimes. He's, he can be, no, <laughs> really he, was he can be very, would make it feel better, Tom? <laughs> he can be very snotty sometimes. Like he, like people would be like, oh, let me pet you, let me pet you. You come over and then I'd be like, nah, I don't think so. Dude, <laughs> me too. Like, yeah. What are yeah. french fries at? Yeah. I well, don't know Dom if he, picks him up. He might want them. some water. I don't know. He just drank some. Oh, well then, quit being a butt. Mm -hmm. Quit being a butt. So, um, He's so slender. Yeah, it's it's it's. <laughs> it's 
nice suitcase. It's banded together with what looks like scavenged nails. None of the nails actually match or anything like that. Um, but it's relatively sturdy. You know? I mean, <laughs> you wouldn't have a problem kicking yeah. it in if you wanted to, but also, I have well, a sword that, you have a sword that destroys right? everything. Yeah. yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Set hearts. Oh, um, oh, it's give, me, give me a perception <laughs> check. Uh, as, as I mentioned, there is like a, a continual breeze that just that is blowing through here, which even you know, I was gonna say, Avril's weird see. little giggle and stuff like that probably wouldn't carry all the way down. I didn't actually do that. I know. I'm saying it would not have Talk. because of the 19. amount. Nineteen. Nineteen. Yeah. So you can hear. It sounds like there's maybe singing going on inside, like a, like they some sort of like. What the you know. fuck? Do I recognize the language? What languages do you speak? I speak common, dwarvish, elvish, and halfling. You do not recognize this language. Okay. And we yeah. can't hear it where we are. No, you really can't. Hmm. Mm -mm. I can hear it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm I am the building. <laughs> All right. Does it, does that um. Change your plan, or you no. just go ahead and knock on the knock door. On the All door. right, so you knock on the door, and uh, then you hear kind of like, "Where's the ghost? What? What? Where's it? Oh, there's a game on too. Yeah, we all use game mode." And then all of a sudden, the door opens up, and you Swedish see chef. a <laughs> weird. <Swedish Hershey. laughs> you see like a, uh, a, 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 a there are parts of the <laughs> rejected again. You gonna lay down? No, I don't want to. I think he gets pissed that he's not hey. allowed to play with us. No! Clocker. God! <laughs> Can you move his Damn. towel a little bit this way? Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe Eric, it's easier for Eric to do it. I don't no, know. No, it's I not. Doubt it. It's not easy for me to move. Eric can't <clears throat> do anything in this. <laughs> so you see a creature that has some of the features of a gnome, right? So it uh, has white sh shocks of white hair, um, a, 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 a longer <laughs> nose. Um, it's like a real Clifford in real life. It's a giant dog. Yeah, hi. 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 Are you going to be a friend? Why don't you lay down now? Are you going to lay down? What are you so sad about? Yeah, exactly. Oh, it's here so Are you sad? <laughs> oh, no. Lay down. Everything. <laughs> What am I not sad about? Mm. Oh. Sad about not getting french fries. There, we did it. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can have those, some of those fries. What? He doesn't need to eat them all. I rolled 29, so it, <laughs> it's, it's gnomish. It, it's, it's gnomish in nature, but in, in terms of the, the, like the way that its features are set and and it, and its hair, it's, it's got shocks of white hair, as I mentioned, and whatnot. But skin is bright pink, with patches of purple. Like you know, there's the, like there's there's purple splotches on the on on its on its forehead and and on its hands up its arms, um, and under its neck it has these purple splotches. Um, and it's about five and a half feet tall, which is significantly taller than a, your normal gnome. Like norm, normally gnomes maybe what, like three, three and a half feet tall. But this has this kind of like the build, like the height of a dwarf doesn't have the, it has more of a lanky kind it's of It's a giant build. gnome. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, and uh, it's wearing some sort of, sort of, um, like crude hide kind of shirt that has been you know, like like sewn into the shape of like a vest, right? So it, it it's this very primitive material that's been cut and sewn into at least a vest anyhow, right? And uh, it's, it's wearing long brown kind of blousey pants. Uh, and- Shirt pants. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and, and, and as you look down, you can see that, the, that it has leather boots, but the one leather boot, like the front of it is, is torn no. open and the, and the heel is like, has essentially worn off. Huh? Right? We have fine leather boots. Yeah. Those are mine. You steal boots if you want to give them to weird, <laughs> weird pink dwarf people. And so, uh, it, it kind of like looks at you and takes you in for a minute and says, uh, 
Greetings. Do you speak? You wouldn't happen to speak common, would you? Who? Huh? Common. I. Speak to you know me. I. Uh, I. I try. Dwarvish. Do you happen to speak Dwarvish? Halfling. Doubtless you could speak Elvish. I speak a lot of languages. Hey, Ava. Hmm? Do you do you speak? I don't know. Gnomish. No. What Just do you speak? Celestial. Oh. No. no. Druidic. I assume not. <laughs> Primordial. <laughs> Sylvan. Nope. <laughs> well, that's it for me. Uh, I've got Draconic. Uh, mm. Infernal. Mm. But still I can in say common. Oof, that's, that's it for me. Where is that evening? Oh, good question. Once more. Where is that Eden? Where is that Eden? I don't know. Island? Island. Island? 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 Grayson? Grayson? Ava. 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 Ich möchte diese Name. Hey, uh, Thorn. 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 It's close enough. Thorn. With Tashiwa, Grayson. Grayson. Eva. Thorn. Ich habe. Hey, hey. Uh, what, wie, uh, wie, wieso sind die hier denn? Uh, uh, mountain. Hole. C Crater. Fire. Kaboom. Crater. Kaboom. Big hole. Big Ke bada boom. Ke kaboom. Uh, hmm. Uh. Do, do we have a copy of this map and does it have the peak? <clears throat> um, yeah, I mean, you, you, yeah, this is the copy that you gave Xanathar, right? This is the, the forgery that you gave him. Mm hmm I, well, I didn't fill it in at some point while we were on the ship. <laughs> uh, and is there any like non in, non common? Is this all written in common? Yeah, it's all written in common okay. on there. And I go um, peak. There, uh, you better get. This is gonna better get. Yeah, yeah. Where? This. Where? Hmm? Yep. Mr. Lee, the beard. The Volunzi. Like if. The Hindi. Give on the Hindi. Is it here a bit. a bit. verrucked? Eh? A bit. a bit. a bit. This isn't going anywhere. Ah. Uh, hey. Which. this. which way? Uh, he turns around and he, you know, points up the, up the peak, you know, up the, up, up the mountain. Right. We sort of knew that, but we can't really get through the smog. Uh, hmm. Well, What? Wenn man spazieren geht, dann öffnet der Wett. Kaboom! Kaboom! Wo bin ich? Ich weiß nicht, was ich was Oh, ah, oh, oh, mir ist verbrannt. Volcano! Yeah, I think that's the gist of it. Maybe uh, if we walk over there, it sounds dangerous. Ah. Uh, uh, I kind of point to where like the the mining stuff is, and say like, well, where, where did you where do you mine? Where where does that come from? Uh, uh, and uh, uh, with the hammer, mm -hmm. hmm? hammer, hammer, you know hammer, okay. hammer, 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 ton, ton, <laughs> hammer, uh, ton hammered, 
Don Hamer. Okay. He, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. he goes up, he grabs this big, Ooh. like, stone mallet kind of thing. It's very heavy. Uh, it looks like the stone on it must be, like, either somehow magically hardened or something like that. Don Hamer. Oh, okay. Well, that's much heavier <laughs> than Super I thought heavy. it would be. It's a, it's a mall. Yeah. Uh, you use this to mine? Yeah. Yeah, you, get, you break up the, the bigger rocks into smaller rocks. Oh. It's one of Master Tommen's. Uh, he he goes right. he, he, he he goes he goes in the corner and he gets out like this uh, what appears to be some sort of like wicker basket that's reinforced with some sort of hide, and uh, he says, "Hemer, in the treaty." You break it up into pieces. You put it in the basket. Yeah. Uh. Oh, all right. Uh, how do we? Where is this cave? Can you point us to where you mine? Is it in, in underground? In a cave? Under underneath? Uh, 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 and so he points at uh, uh, these these different, you know, types of crystal, and one of them is like this way, and one of them is that way, and one of them is this way. Ah, all right. Mm -hmm. My thought was if there was an underground cave, maybe we could go under the mountain instead of over. I mean, we but, still possibly can. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what do I notice about these <laughs> crystals? <laughs> uh-huh. What, what sort of skill are you trying to apply here? Um, we're in a very magical area i imagine there's some arcane s something maybe to this uh mm -hmm. sure so i'll give you uh, i'll give you yeah i'll give you definitely give you an arcana check on this you can have those mm -hmm. 21. 21. so he, uh, uh, Aelin is showing you this whole mining setup that they apparently have here, whatever it's worth. But as you look around their stone hut, there's a couple things that you notice, right? Um, leaning against the wall right next to the door, each of them has a really tall, probably like at least 10 feet, maybe even 12 foot tall staff of gnarled wood. Right, um, that doesn't necessarily strike you as like it's it's not carved with a bunch of runes or anything like that. So it doesn't you don't go like oh wow this is some sort of potent wizard staff or something like that. For one thing, it's super tall. It doesn't seem like it would be useful as a staff. But each of them does have a bundle of quartz um, enmeshed at the top with like leather thongs and, and straps and and things like that. Like there's this bundle of quartz at the head of each of these things. That strikes you as a little bit odd, right? Um, <clears throat> and then the other thing that you notice is, you know, they've got amethyst and they've got all of these various little gemstones that they clearly like collect and they must take somewhere to trade or whatnot. Um, but on a small glass tray uh, set aside is a pile of what look like little metal shavings. Um, but as you look at them, they almost look like little, like very tiny, like reptile scales, like little dragon scales, but they're made out of metal. And you, you are fairly certain that this, that metal is probably adam adamantian, adamantine, right? Which like, no wonder they like keep it in its own separate pile, right? It's it would be incredibly valuable, but how it how it would get shaved down so finely is kind of beyond you, because that sort of metal work, number one, is beyond whatever facilities that they have, and number two, you know, you it would require some master work, um, forge, you know, smithing from yeah. by, by by generally by like very old dwarves who would be able to do something like this to like carve these fine little dragon scales. Um, Matt, 
Where? Uh, and then once again, they point up, back up, up the hill, mm. in the direction of the, of the, of the crater. Near. Uh, kaboom, kaboom, kaboom. I point at the staffs. Mm. And I point at the map. Eh, uh, um, uh, this is very clear. Then, 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 then did he the the sisia so um that that's what man does is ja vorsichtig ne man da muss das kann man das nicht richtig so sehen aber so ein bisschen annehmen ne ne so this this is the the these these are blitz, ne? These blitz, blip 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 blitz. You can't uh, uh, navigating is probably hard without one of these sticks. Right, but it doesn't seem like uh, it was quartz, right? Yeah, it doesn't seem like quartz is that rare. So we could get some, or maybe even buy, yeah. trade for they, some. I mean, uh, if we gave them some coin, like. But does coin mean anything to them? They gather materials. Uh, they. I mean, most of these these aren't very rare materials. I imagine gold or silver are incredibly valuable. In but this. Do, they, do you have a? Is there a smelt that we can see in there? I can't imagine there's a smelt to like melt these down in this. No, hole. not doesn't doesn't seem like it. Uh, I'm sure we have something. Yeah. Uh, what? Well, uh, uh, hey. I just pointed the staff and say, uh, if if I want one, I, I give you something for that. I take one. I, I grab it and just me I I take me to dude this is easy to do uh, and then I, I kind of hold it and I, I I take out my coin purse and kind of open it up and say like uh, uh, for this I and I kind of like hold it hold some out I give him like a gold I put it in his hand and I say for Trade. Oh, uh, 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 this game, this was was all I did with it, with with him, but can Um, um. Kind of looks down at your boots. Uh. And and then you can you literally like hear his toes in the dirt do this. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> that is uh, disgusting. Ich brauche hier Haben Sie den Stiefel, maybe? Für, vielleicht? Well, I feel like I'm going to need my boots if I'm traveling up a mountain. Uh, uh, I know we have another pair somewhere. Um, I'll be right back. Uh, I just put it back and then kind of walk towards to where the rock where <laughs> Avril is and kind of just kind of like stand there like, you don't know where I am. Uh, <laughs> you don't know I disappeared behind a rock. You have no idea where I am. You go back up well, where, where, where the ship dropped you off. Sure. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, I, I said said I moved around. Oh, I'm sorry. I flanked. To okay. The front. He yeah. still goes yeah. to where the ship dropped off. Uh -huh. Well, I'm Thank not you. there. <laughs> Fine's here. Well, That's I'm one more right. There. Okay, one more right. Avril, they're not dangerous. We just need to trade them and I know you have some shoes. Are you saying this by the, where the ship dropped I'm just off? yelling I'm just yelling it to everywhere. <laughs> Avril! <laughs> These are my shoes! <laughs> Okay, I guess we'll just die on the mountain then. Fun. I'll come out with the shoes. <laughs> okay. You came back. <laughs> I did. That was nice. What a mistake I've made. <laughs> so while he's gone, you know, the other the other gnome, uh, uh, that was Aylin, right? So Island yeah. is kind of like looking at your sword. You're like, takes this. Hey, 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 ich, ich, gib dir diese Rüte, gib mir, äh, 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 ä
Schwert, das können wir nicht. Ja, uh, okay, okay. Und dann. Doppelginge. I do not smell that bad. Doppelginge. Oh. Kind of, kind of looks at you. Uh, looks at you. Uh, oh, uh. that sounds familiar. Ah. Uh, uh, here, here are the shoes. Uh, here we go. Look, very nice boots. Uh, trade for the uh, trade shoes. So that's the other one. Right, right. right. It, I'm like... trying to do this quickly. And uh, you wanted the sword. I pull out my short sword. Uh, oh, look. Oh. Brand new, never used. Oh. Great. Have you been able to understand them the whole time? Schwert and the. Nothing to know. Schwert and the. In the Stiefel. Nimmer Schwert and Stiefel. Yo, 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 yo. Richter das. Richter das. Ooh, double Uh, Let's see. Uh, uh, so we have a, a deal. You take these shoes and the sword for two staffs. Hold on. Do you hear what he's saying? Yes, I very much do. So okay, that's one. Okay. So maybe just... we can get our friend here to communicate with them, so we can make a, a straight deal instead of gibbery. Jibbery jab deal. Okay? I don't know if they like doppelgangers. They might be doppelgangers. Remember, Xanathar said it was the birthplace of the doppelgangers. Right, but okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. We don't know what doppelgangers look like. They could look like weird little pink babies. They don't understand what I'm saying, right? <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. Well, if you can, like I'm doppelgangers interested. could look like basically any kind of humanoid, right? You you have a pretty good idea of what they look yeah, like in their natural Grayson form as a, as a doppelganger. <laughs> but yeah. So I mean, could I have like? Oh, no, I, w I wouldn't do that though. Grayson. I don't speak their language. Grayson. I don't speak. You their... do not have to hide who you are from us. We don't care. I don't think he does. I don't know if that's a language. It is a, I'm sure it is a language. It's not one I speak. I don't speak really? it either. It's not one I speak. Mm. That seems crazy to me. That I don't speak every language. No, you don't speak doppelganger. Then they're not speaking that. Are you sure? I don't know. Because I don't speak so, it. So while you're having this discussion, like one of them, you know, turns around and goes back, and there's a, like a little wooden box that he has, and he gets, you know, he's, he starts like going through, like open. He opens this box, and he's kind of like looks like he's like like rummaging through whatever's inside of it, right? Um, and uh, and he pulls out this piece of crystal, and he holds it up, and suddenly it lights up. Mm -hmm. And he points it at you, and nothing, you know, doesn't change color. But then as it gets closer to Grayson, it glows brighter. <gasps> hey, Ligiman! Hey, Ligiman! And they, they get down on their knees, and they begin kind of, like, bowing to Grayson. Oh, holy shit. Hey, hey Ligiman! Hey, Ligiman! Neat. That's I could have gone the other way. Uh, yeah. All right. Wait to me. <laughs> I like make them hold the crystal near me. Damn it! <laughs> that would explain a lot. <laughs> what does that mean? Nothing. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hey, hey. And, and they, they like they like push the staffs like at you and kind of like hold them out and they're kind of like you know. Yeah, you know, and they, they very like they're very. I the boots back like, up. Sub submissive. No. no, put leave the boots. These are my no, leave the boots. They are quite nice. Yes, they are. G and G you can afford new ones. Grayson, Grayson, what's 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 current? What's for the tune? What's what's current for the? What's 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 rolling the Grus Grayson? Your Lord wants you to speak common. <laughs> oh, it doesn't what? work that way. I don't know. It's just worth it. Doesn't a shot. work that way. <laughs> Weird shit happens every day. Uh, I mean. I do have some, the ability, I mean, because it does, it's not clear, it's not like a, it doesn't say super clear what my mental capabilities are. <laughs> it says I can just use them to learn everything I need to know about people. Uh -huh. so, so do I, can I at least, 
sort of get the sense. No, I wouldn't do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to lean into it. Can I'm going to fight that urge. I know a god somehow for this. You can. What's, who's the god of languages? Hmm. I think there's one of those. Grayson would probably know that. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Grayson would probably know m many of the gods. Because um. paladins of Torm respect the other gods. Except for the bad ones. Wow. While you're looking that up, the other John Stewart gives a reroll to boop, 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 boop. Uh, Havana. Uh, Wait, did I point the right way? Which way no, do I point? No, this way. That way. This way. Well, I just point right, right at Havana. Right. It's that yeah. simple. Yeah. Do I just look right at you to look at you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Jay Stu. Uh, thanks for the tip there, Blind uh, Seer. Geez. Appreciate that as well. I mean, it's a god of knowledge. I'm pretty sure there's a. Uh, I wrote this down the other day because I was using it as a bardic deity, but it's like. Av Averon or something like that? Does that sound familiar? Uh, let's look at... Uh... List of Dungeons and Dragons deities. Well, chat, help us! I mean, because there's... <laughs> chat is screaming There's Faerun, right there's now. not... Yeah, it would, be, it would be Faerunian, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Even if we knew the guy, wouldn't it just be three questions, though? Yeah, but it... You get three yes-no well, questions. We could be like, <laughs> teach us the language <laughs> there. Yes, I will. We got poetry and song. <laughs> Done. This is not helpful. Courage and self-sacrifice. That's my guy. Mm. Oh, something else. <laughs> oh, this is what I'm looking for. This is what I'm looking for. This is what I'm looking for. I don't see anything for. about language. I see knowledge, but... Uh, no, I'll just follow close enough. Mm -hmm. Or writing. Yeah, well, writing's probably we, better, actually. What could we ask them? Is there another unlockable soon <laughs> that helps? <laughs> I know a language. Language. I mean, um, there there is spells, but I don't have them currently. Right. Unless I do. There's also a magical <laughs> item that just lets you Unless translate I... every language. What? Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, cool. Let me check my. I almost asked for that <gasps> instead of the intelligence boost. It's called the TARDIS. Because I know zero languages. <laughs> Lay down. Is it the TARDIS does that? Yeah. Oh, if I... you're in it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Oof. I've also never seen Doctor Who. That might be why. <laughs> That's probably why. I forgot about that. Why is this such a hard thing to Google? Oh, here we go, here we go. Uh, tempest, nature, tempest, trickery, death. Oh, okay. Trickery, um, knowledge. Is there a god of language? Maybe it's just knowledge. There's a bunch of knowledge. Oh, I'm not goddess of illusion. But it's only yes or no questions. God of craft. Well, think of a good... Um, well, we would just think of three different possible languages and ask the god if it's those. Oh, and then idea. what will we do with that information? Know that it is either one of those or none of those. <laughs> I, I, would, of I would say you would probably know this, but f because you are a doppelganger, your read thoughts ability, I would guess if you choose to use it, um, would probably have to like transcend language. Yeah, right? definitely. So. Uh, he, Grayson doesn't use it. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> no, do we I, know I, he has it? If that was the, I mean, you, the question at hand. I don't know jack about top of No, I, yeah, I was, I was curious what that <laughs> meant. But then I realized Grayson's never gonna use those powers. <laughs> oh, we could do some drawings. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. And I the think, dirt outside. Or I think we have the information we yeah, need. Yeah, I think so too. And give him your short sword and the boots. Uh, I'll leave my short sword. Yeah. Do they not have any weapons of any sort? Uh, well, so what, you know, now that you, they're kind of like they've subjugated themselves before uh, Grayson and whatnot, you can tell that one of them has a what looks like a hunting knife. Like they've taken it out and like put it in the dirt in front of them. Like so, oh. so Aelin did, um, and it's clearly like broken. It looks like it's it's worn so oh. thin mm -hmm. or it's broken off. And he's he's sharpened it as best as he can, but it's just like a nub. Yeah. You know, it's certainly not like the full hunting knife that it that it was. Yeah, I'm gonna just take my short sword and place it on top and just kind of leave it there. <laughs> well. Are we ready to go then? Yeah. Uh, th thank you. It's very nice to meet you, Aelin and Island. Island. Well, they're Aelin, Island. Well, Aelin. they're worshiping. Well, they're over there mm. obsessing over Grayson. Can I kind of just l like take a quick nice look around? Nice, Nice, thank, thank you. you. So that's a left. Yeah, uh, that's a can left. I take a <laughs> quick look around the house uh -huh. and just see like what? what I can kind of decipher just from what they own or what else is in the house. 
Mm -hmm. Sure. Uh, give me uh, either perception or intelligence investigation. I'm going to use this. This. And some mm -hmm. bumpies. Mm -hmm. Oh, all right. Very good. I don't know what I did. There she is. Where's my dice? Okay, good thing. Oh, Ooh. but I got halfling luck. So. <laughs> okay, so that's 11, 11 uh, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15. All right. Um, it does look like they... Um, the, the one thing that you notice is they must boil all of their water before they drink it. Okay. That, that's very obvious from, they seem to have kind of like a, almost, not, not like a still with all of the like, you know, the, the um, uh, all the tubes and the copper kettle and all that kind of stuff. They don't have that, but they have like a setup where they clearly like they get a fire going and they, they, do, they, they, they boil water, but then all of their water is in sealed containers. So all all of all of the water that you see, there's no, there's no just like normally you would expect. Oh, okay, there would be a bowl with with water in it that you'd maybe wash your hands in or whatever that you just have, you know, in case you had to go to the restroom or whatever, and and you just splash some water around. And weren't too concerned about you weren't going to drink it or whatever. But all of their water seems to be in like glass jars that are sealed up with okay. some sort of lid on them, right? Um, so that is one thing that definitely s sticks out to you when you look around the um, when you look around the place. Um, and the other thing too is it, 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 it they do seem to have kind of a um, uh, like a magical hermits kind of like existence that they're trying to lead, right? They don't have a lot of magical stuff around, but there's certainly a bunch of racks of crystals that are like separated out, like almost as if either they collect the stuff and then they go sell it someplace, or they're trying to, you, you, almost, you almost wonder to yourself if they're looking for something because they have, you know, a bunch of like crystals that are lined up on one side and then the same, all the same crystals just laying on the ground discarded, you know? So it, it, almost as if instead of like panning for gold, they're panning for something with these crystals. And maybe that's how they, you Came know, the got this, this one. Um, maybe there's something that they did with these staves to make the quartz extra special. You don't know what. Um, they didn't seem particularly like greedy in terms of like trading the staff with Thawne. So whatever they're doing is seems like must be easy for them to replicate because they weren't like, like they could have asked, if it was super magical, they'd, they'd have driven a harder bargain. Obviously, like once they recognize Grayson for what he is, they, don't, they, would, they would give you anything. Then I take the crystal, the doppelganger crystal. <laughs> Mind if I'm just gonna take this with this. I'm with him. Uh, it was a crystal. Is the the name? Give him back your crystal. No, tell him we need it. Give him back your crystal. You're not going to tell us if we run into a doppelganger, so we need to be aware. We need to know if that's who we're dealing with. I would tell you. You wouldn't. Why would we need to know if we run into a doppelganger? Well, turns out they're like inherently evil. They're just sh selfish, like all people. I think to a, to a degree. How common is it to run into doppelgangers? Well, this is You'd be uh, surprised. what we've heard the, You'd be surprised. <laughs> uh, the birthplace of the doppelganger, so we might anticipate running into more than we usually would. Everybody give me an intelligence check. From what Xanathar said. Ooh. Why not? Not 20! 15. <laughs> Uh, wow, really? So 22. Uh, eight? Yeah. With my inspiration. Wow, okay. <laughs> <laughs> 15. Uh, so Thawne, your, you know, hunting and tracking instincts kick in here and you're looking at this thing and you're like, well, number one, it only seems to have kind of a range of like five feet. And the other thing that you realize is it's always going to be on unless you're more than five feet ahead of Grayson. Oh, right. Well, we, well yeah. 
Thank you. Yeah. But we could, yeah. I could step five feet away from uh, Grayson and hold it up what, to a different creature. Would that, can I also tell what kind of crystal it is? What material it is? Um, in Unless it's something I've never ever seen before. Mm -hmm. Unless you want a magical torch that we carry around, that I can carry around, which we don't need. What? It, you, you don't recognize it off the top of your head. Okay. I mean, it'll just always be a light on. What? No, I don't have to stand five feet away from you all the time. In fact, a lot of times I'm very far away from you guys, slinking, hiding, sneaking. But you have to be within five feet of whatever it is. Okay, I'm cool. And I'll sneak up on it and I'll be like, it's better to have than to not have. No, it's theirs. We're taking enough of their stuff. What? We took what? One, two, three things. Is this a folder? Folder from 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 in? No, no, no. Or a heilige schwester? Did you catch any of that? He said his name. Uh, uh, do do you have uh, two of this crystal? Two? No, no. We're we're having only the only one. Oh, just the one. Yeah. Uh, I don't. Yeah, it's all right. I don't think we, we can find another one. We've seen what it looks like, and maybe if we run upon run upon it, you know, if we Grayson gets close enough, we'll, we'll get another one. They seem to be pretty attached. Okay, to it. I pretend to put it back. <laughs> I'll swap it with a different crystal. <laughs> <laughs> all right, G give me a sleight of hand. <laughs> 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 Four. Uh, Nine. Nineteen. Nineteen, huh? All right. <clears throat> yeah, they have no clue that you you swapped it. Thank you. <laughs> of course. Uh, <laughs> I don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't do that? <laughs> what? <laughs> what if every time Admiral did something sneaky? <laughs> <laughs> cackle for it? Put on a hood. Cackle? A cackle sharper. Bon, this is like a, a, you, a goof. A do you goof. foresee us ever splitting up or walking in two lines? Mm, thank you. Uh, I what? mean, it's possible but unlikely. Yeah, so we don't What's, need both of these. Both staffs. of what? Uh, I could argue for that. But oh, it's, wait. It no, seems, we need both of them. It, it seems like it's pretty easy for them to get the quartz. All right. And uh, we don't entirely understand how they're used yet. Fair enough. Uh, right. So yeah, we need a seminar. It seems like what they're used for is when you're going up the mountain, they're used as sensors to warn you of some sort of danger. Probably the goats. Uh, Was it danger, or did they, they mentioned create some sort of the pathway? way? The way that no, it, it's kind of there's I don't know <clears throat> a magical yeah. pocket, but there's there's like the involved falling of some kind. Mm -hmm. So if you don't Possibly have it, possibly explosions. You, there will be no warning. But if you get close enough, it'll start glowing, and you can walk around it. And if you have two, we actually might need two because we can sort of circle around it as opposed to just waving one around. So, right, but it seems pretty common to have quartz around here. Mm. That's right. what I decipher. We'll have to figure it out ourselves, obviously. Uh, but the thank you. Uh, wait, I hold out my hand to shake. Wait, I'm going to show him this drawing. <clears throat> this or this? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Angry. Angry, bad, or, ooh, oh. <laughs> you, uh, um, e, uh, mm. Staff, staff. <laughs> I point at one of the real staffs. See, this <laughs> is one of those. Uh, uh, <laughs> Thank you, foot stamp hustler, for the donation. Foot. Tip, rather. 
to say food. food. Did I say foot? You did yeah. say foot. What are you? That's foot. what it is now. It's foot. What do you mean? They're getting the renter. They're getting the 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 stop hustling. The remood or getting on the hitting the road. What's what's it? They're getting the the. If it makes noise. Not or like. Door. This hule. No. This silver hule. This is the only silver hule. Da sieht man die Blitz, Blitz, Blitz. Go da geht man uh, hier rum oder hier, hier runter und da ist man... I think maybe the staffs create portals? No, he's just saying going around. It, Don't it, go, if it lights up and makes noise, go around whatever that is. Yeah. Or it'll blow up, I think. Yeah. Or teleport you somewhere. We're not Can exactly kaboom. sure. Oh, come nee? on. Come sieht man kaboom? Da geht man rum? Kaboom good, kaboom bad. Kaboom bad, kaboom good. Kaboom. Kaboom bad. Nein, danke. Kaboom sad. Kein kaboom, bitte. No, thank you. Ich möchte kein kaboom. Alright. Alright, so... Cool. <laughs> Alright, we leave them the short sword. Mm -hmm. The boots. Mm -hmm. Take the staffs. Mm -hmm. And we, we gave back the crystals. So. Gave back the crystal. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I I walk over to them. What about the hammer? We don't need a hammer. I thought we were going But then we can't hammer in the morning. I, <laughs> what can, about hammering in the evening? <laughs> right? My sword is, is a better hammer than anything they've ever seen. Uh, <laughs> talk about your dick. <laughs> I place a hand on both of them, <laughs> and I cast Bless. I cast Bless on them, they are blessed. Yeah, God. For one minute. I don't know why they keep calling you Greasy. I guess you haven't shared in a while. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, you're such a great holy man. Great holy man. Grace in the human. And it's correct. <laughs> <laughs> that was nice of you to do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, very good. And uh, and so then you start going up the mountain. Do you want to summon uh, Taika back? What what's your what's your option here? I see. Let's figure out how these rods work. Mm -hmm. Let's go up there a little bit and yeah, we'll see how far we can get. Probably keep out, uh, Taika out of danger until. The last minute, just because if we okay. don't have her, we don't have a way to get out of At here. At least so. until Grayson's dead, so she doesn't have to see him. <laughs> that's gonna, Jesus. That's going to go bad. It's I mean, I know I, I know I don't want to change pessimism. my face, but maybe I will. Grayson died. I'm, I'm Grossin. I'm Grossin. <laughs> jail. The, the Grossin jail. Grossin jail. Tracen. Yeah, Tracen. <laughs> Racin Grail. I'm Tracer. I'm All right. Hitson Grail. Uh, before we get too far up the mountain here, uh, inspiration is refreshed for everybody. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Congrats on that. Thank, Thank you. you to Thank you, uh, chat. chat and the various donations that we have accumulated from Night Steed and uh, El, El Castillo and Food Stamp Hustler. Uh, also, um, Estel Castillo. <laughs> I hope the close of your campaign went well tonight. Oh, uh, yeah. Considering oh, yeah. Three like people dope. started with one hit point. Um, gives awesome. me a reroll. Oh, oh nice. well, I will be using those. Um, however, the good news for all of you is each of you gets to roll a d4. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. And that's how many of you die. <laughs> I got four. Oh. I got two. I got three. Oh, this is a... Get a one, get oh one, God, get do we, one. Do we gain this amount of levels? Yes, yeah. no, we did it. He one, loses two, bumps, two, I'm guessing. Four. Oh. So you got four, you mm. get three, that's seven. One, two, three, four. And... One. So how many total is that? What did you oh, get? What did you I roll? I got two. You rolled two. All right, so that's ten total. All right, well, I only have three, four, five, two, four, I have eight. So I'm going to take two more out. So you each get two more bumps. Hmm? No, that doesn't work out. Two, two, two. Thank you. Two, and then I have two that I'm going to put on the table up for grabs. Mm. For whoever wants to use them. I'm going to arrange that. All right. So that's happening. Um, very good. Awesome. Thank you, everyone. So you begin traveling up the trail. Who's carrying these staves? I am. You've got one. I'll get one, I guess. You get the other yeah. one. Yeah. All right. And and how are you using them? What is? Uh, I mean, they're long, so I guess. Yeah, they're like twelve feet long. We're holding the the non-crystal part as close to us as possible. Oh, is that how we were supposed to? Oh. <laughs> you had the other end. <laughs> Kaboom! <laughs> uh, yeah, sort of like a fishing rod almost. Okay. All right. Is okay. how I'm picturing it. 
Okay. <clears throat> All right. Um, so can you grab me a Diet Coke out of the... Sure. Of the... Can I, so I have a water? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Anybody else? <laughs> it's be really hard with this on. <laughs> now you know my pain. We're just going to follow Havana to the <laughs> what, restroom. <laughs> what other beverages? Because they're probably low on Diet Coke. I don't see any Diet Coke. Yeah, I may have got it Whatever's diet or water, either one. There's a Coors Light. Mm. There's a regular hey. Coke. There's a Coors Light. There's, there's a, a LaCroix. Of, there's a lot of Tecate. Mm -hmm. That's Thanksgiving. I don't see one day. unless I'm. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. no, no, no. As There's drunk as I got, I didn't drink all that. <laughs> no, we had. No, so you're right. Time. I I was I was more of a water fine. person. <laughs> Me too. There's root beer. Do you want something else? I'll take a root beer. Okay. All right. So, um, <laughs> so why don't you give me a hello uh, um, uh more of a survival check. Wait, hold on a second. So since we are in a mountain area, mm -hmm. this is one of my favorite terrains. Mm -hmm. So difficult terrain doesn't slow us down. Mm -hmm. We can't get lost except by magical means. Mm -hmm. uh, even if we're engaged in another activity while traveling, you remain alert to danger. Mm -hmm. uh, when you forage, you find twice as much food. And while tracking creatures, you learn their exact number of sizes and how long ago they passed through the area. Mm -hmm. And I get proficiency. Is My proficiency bonus is doubled when using uh, intelligence or wisdom checks. Mm -hmm. So when I play a ranger, every time I'm underground, I'm like, well, technically this is the underground, <laughs> yeah. so it's my favorite. <laughs> yeah, clever. Sorry. So what was the check I'm making? If that uh, give me a survival check. Cool. Mm -hmm. And you can give me an arcana check. Now you have advantage. Okay. I also. Let's see. Not, I can deal what with a uh, terrain like this with oh, my nice. land stride. Yeah. Land stride. It doesn't, I don't take any negatives. Uh, net 20! Mm -hmm. So, 25 this. total. Okay. okay. Uh, okay. So that's 15. Alright. What did we decide here? Do, 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 we do. all die. Mm -hmm. We decided you all die. Oh, it's been a fun campaign. Mm, yeah, okay. So, uh, so as, as the two of you are kind of advancing up, you know, up what well, the remainder of whatever path you think um, they sort of sent you along, right? There's certainly a trail you that goes it goes in the direction that they pointed, mm -hmm. but then it starts to meander a little bit. But you follow it for as much as you think is reasonable. Um, but as you're walking along, mm, 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 about half an hour, forty minutes later, right? You've been traveling for a while. But you do like you're you're getting toward the base of this thing, and the smog is beginning to close in, and it's, and it's not enough at this point that it is like actively affecting you. It's not thick enough that you're like constantly <laughs> breathing it in. But patch, t you know, patches of it go by, and it is limiting your visibility. But as you're, you're you cross over from from this kind of safe area where you were, really onto the main peak, you know, the main mountain itself. This whatever this mountain is called, Mount Sleva du Krolpan or whatever it is. Um, th what your your Staff begins to like crackle and throw off, begins to throw off little like lightning arcs of spark, right? Just bright white. Okay. Uh, what does that mean? I got one, so if you want to circle and find yeah. where it ends. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> kind of, mm -hmm. Yeah, so so you you kind of trace this thing, you know, back and forth, back and forth, and it's about 30 feet wide. Holy cow. <laughs> and uh with your arcana check as you're as you're tracing this thing you can see just very briefly um like just quick little shimmers of what appears to be kind of like a deep translucent blue kind of not not really light but but little like rips in the fabric of reality that show mm -hmm. this like deep translucent blue on the other side yeah um, and you snap back to the gnome's little uh, presentation on the dangers of the mountain, and you're like, "Oh, this must be one of those like weird dimensional instabilities, you know? That's 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 cropped up. That's supposedly like so common in this area, right?" Yeah. Um, does my training as Horizon Walker 
teach me that it's like a portal of any sort, or is it just like a reality tear or something? Um, mm, 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 mm. I could detect portal if I wanted to, I guess. Mm -hmm. Portal seems actually. like an intentional thing. Was this right. more like the wall barriers between them is just thin in this spot? Uh, um, right. What sort of skills do you, would you want to apply to this? Uh, I'll just take a knee and use detect portal, I guess. Mm -hmm. I'll see if that works. Uh, as an action, you detect the distance and direction of the closest planar portal within one mile. I mean, it'll be this, so it doesn't really tell me more. I, I assume this is a portal anyway, so. Mm -hmm. So just give me an intelligence check and okay. I'll see if I can. Uh, I will use my inspiration for this. Okay. Just and looks over rocks. at me and he's like, it's a portal. <laughs> like, yeah, Duh. I know. <laughs> but, but what kind? <laughs> Trap portal. Uh, that is uh, pretty crappy. I'm using my reroll for this. Okay. Didn't you spend uh, inspiration? I did. That was. Yeah. That was he oh, I didn't, oh, see, I didn't see. I didn't see the other garbage. I didn't see the other dice. They were pretty crappy. Uh, that's not terrible. Thirteen. And this was intelligence. You yeah. said. Uh, and I used bumps. Did I use bumps for that? Yeah, you gave me three, I believe. Okay. Cool. So 13, 16, 18. Okay. <clears throat> um, yeah. So you use your detect portal ability. It, it, you do flash on like, this looks like a, it, it's definitely some sort of breach between the planes. Mm -hmm. it, it's not a portal in terms of like, you traditionally think of like a portal is generally more stable. Mm -hmm. and, and then the reading that you're getting from it, you almost wonder if it's not one way. Oh. Right, like that. That you'd 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 go through, and it, it wouldn't be you know, like whatever's on the other side. Like when when you detect this portal, you get a sense that there's an immense amount of water on the other side of this opening. So it must be one one directional, because otherwise all that water would come pouring forth down the mountain, and you know have right. this these huge river. So you realize, like, if you had just you know stubbornly walked into this thing without realizing it was there, you might have been transported into whatever pocket dimension or elemental plane that this is, and right. you might might have been trapped there. Don't tell Ava. Um, oh my god. She'll jump into it. She will not. But as as you're looking at this thing, and you know, both of your stabs are kind of crackling, and then all of a sudden they just stop, and it snaps out of existence. Oh, all right, well. Uh, it's a one-way trip if we go onto those, but... Uh, Which is why we have the steps. Yes, uh, but it looks like they're also temporary. So let's keep going. Yep. Let's hope they don't pop up on top of us. Okay, <clears throat> all right. So uh, you have you know, successfully deduced the, the use of the staffs and, and how they uh, help avoid those two, you know, giant gnomes, as it were, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, uh, navigate the mountain here. So that, that helps you out tremendously. Um, as you go further along, it, it's not but another like seven minutes and you hear over the next kind of like little peak of the, of the climb here, you hear, meh. Meh, meh, meh. Sounds like a goat. It, we have to kill it. it no, Why? we don't. We have to never kill them. Because they told us not to. Yeah, exactly. So don't do it. Yeah, but then you <laughs> shouldn't kill the goat if someone told you not to. I know logically that's how it works, but I just get that itch, you know, when someone <laughs> says, don't do it. I just want to be like, oh, okay, Avril, I'll do it. No. I promise you, I don't know what we're go walking into. But you're gonna have opportunities. <laughs> it's not like this is. We're not gonna to just kill a goat. To kill something. No, but I want to kill the goat because they specifically said not to kill the goat. But you the, have to understand where I'm coming the from. The goat is innocent. This is like in in grade school when they gave us those sacks of flowers and they said this is a child you have to take care of it and you immediately made bread out of it. That was some good loaf though. <laughs> it was a good piece of bread. <laughs> I, and had pieces. I known that it was your your bread child, I wouldn't have eaten so much of it. You ate it. You ate it in sandwich form. Yeah. Why yeah. would flower be your child? It's a it's, it's like a thing. Same way it teaches baby. you responsibility. Yeah, it's kind of stupid looking. That you shouldn't yeah. bake your child. Yeah, in retrospect, <laughs> I should have just dropped it. Yeah. 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 You shouldn't drop your child either. It's just flower. Oh, I would just do it because the teacher told me not to. Don't drop it. That oh, okay. Well, like the opposite of what you would exactly. want. Exactly. You right. get it, Ava. Mm -hmm. you get, Ava gets it. Yeah. I say kill the goat. Go for it. Mm. 
So do the opposite. So you continue. Oh. It doesn't work that way. It's too late. <laughs> Murder always wins. Mm-hmm. Uh, we just don't cancel each other out. <laughs> All right. So how would you like to proceed? Uh, uh, what are the goats doing? What are they up to? Oh, so you 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 move forward ahead and you come over the top. <laughs> wow. Brian Patterson, hey, twenty monkey. So we go yeah. left. We go left. Obviously. So you go left. Oh, yeah, yeah, another, yeah, yeah. another another ten bucks comes in. Um, so you come over the top of the up over the top of the peak and you see these th three goats that are standing there. One of them has its head down and is like kind of like chomping away at a piece of really tough kind of like the the, the grass here is is a deep green, um, but it, it ends in a brown. It looks like it almost gets stained as it as it grows. It, and it's and it's extremely it's almost like if you took like a clump of pine needles, right? And grew it like as a as a solid like oh. just clump of Springy, almost like a, like a weird wig or something like that, right? Well, they're just over there eating wigs. One of one of them is is like like gnawing on that and like just tearing big pieces of this stuff up. And you've you know tripped over this stuff and whatnot, and it does not break apart. This stuff is almost like iron, right? That's how tough these needles are. They're really tough and woven together. But this goat doesn't even have any problem to like rip a you know, rip a chunk off and like starts gnawing on it. But the other two goats, you get the dis dis distinct impression they are just staring you down as you come up over the hill. There's like both uh, both of these goats are just like with their weird double people eyes just like uh I don't think these are normal goats. Meh, they can meh. Eat those rock plant things. Uh, can you talk with goats? <laughs> No, but I've never tried. We can try. Maybe you can talk with goats. Uh, I don't have, it. I don't Hi, have any magical abilities. I can talk with animals a little bit, <laughs> but do I want to? Yes. I mean, goats look like the devil all the time. <laughs> yeah, it's not, they're not special goats except for that they, the double they can pupils? Eat, uh, eat metal grass, but the eyes are the same. <laughs> People. They look like normal goats, so terrifying. <laughs> what if you walk up to... Okay, I'm going to walk up to the goats. And... Ooh, ah! Hi, goat. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to sneakily hold the gem up to the... Close to it. So I've walked, I've walked away from Grayson. I walked away from Grayson. And I'm just... Give me a slight of hand check, because you know Grayson is watching, that everybody is watching you to see whether you're going to well, stab this thing. that's 25. Thing. Yeah, sure. So that's not too hard. Uh, 25. I'm going to assume that your perception is probably not going to bust that. What's no. your passive perception? 11. <laughs> so you walk up. It does not light up. Um, give me a... Uh, oh. <laughs> give, give me a perception check. It flails me. What do, what do you call that one? Oh, gores me. It gores me. <laughs> uh, perception? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to give this a couple bumps. Mm -hmm. uh, so 14, 15, 16, 17. 17. I stare that goat right in the eyes. You see the way that you'll die. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> um... The only thing that something something like catches you like like something a little obvious is you're staring at this thing. It is like seems to be staring you right back, in the eyes. Um, but you think maybe you see something like I don't know if it's the wind that blows across its shaggy hide or what the deal is. But you swear to God you see something kind of like move along its, you know, somewhere un inter underneath its fur. Nah. Nah. Can I pet it? <laughs> give me I want to pet it give me a, where I saw the movement. Give me an animal handling check. Pet check. Ooh, 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 here's a couple more bumps. Mm -hmm. I don't think I have that skill. <laughs> Any? Where, where'd all my bumps go? <laughs> they go. Uh huh. Okay, that's a re roll there. Mm -hmm. How many? I give you two bumps, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a dirty 20. Oh no, a dirty twenty-one. Huh. I was gonna re-roll, but I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna win. You got a twenty-one. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> uh, yeah. So you reach out and pet the thing. Nah, nah. Um, and it kind of like 
like begins to like nose over and begin like nuzzling up into your pockets, like maybe, you know, kind of <laughs> snuffling around towards your pockets. But you get your hands on it. It's hide underneath its fur. You can feel it like it feels bumpy. Like little oh, we have to kill it and tiny it little little bumps. What do they feel like to me? They're round, they're Yeah, they, they feel, feel maybe like maybe round. Funny? It's it's hard to you know. I don't know how how We're gonna have to kill it. Mm -hmm. Sucks guys. And it's kinda like <laughs> And it's like starts starts kind of like gnawing on the pocket of your coat. Does it want that crystal? Is that what it wants? I don't, it, it's, it, it's I hard to tell. I kind of hold it out, but I'm not giving it to him. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh, it, 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 no, it, there must be something else in your pocket. This is a spider. <laughs> I'm just over here by myself, just letting it smell everything in my pocket. Uh, uh, give me a dexterity check. Here. Okay, hold on. Uh, that's a nineteen. Uh huh. Uh, I got a twenty-one. It takes a huge bite oh, out of the spider, really? and you hear the spider go crack in between I those jaws. Like, let me finish a laundry roll. <laughs> All oh right, you got Oh my god! You got to beat a twenty-one. This asshole. Okay, I want to bump it. I like this spider. I don't want him to die. Oh, fuck, was that worse? Yeah. <laughs> fuck, fuck. New inspiration. Oh, I forgot we got that back. Shit. Okay, so that's a 17, 18, 19, 26. <laughs> okay. It goes to take a huge bite out of the spider, and you quickly pull it away. Nah. Why do you want this? Nah. Why do you want that? Nah. What are you? Are you full of spiders? Because it just looks like a compact it, right? What the uh, fuck? Well, you took, I assumed like? you took the spider part of it out. They didn't it. have it together, right? Oh, okay. But anyway, yeah, you like held the spider thing out and then went, went to bite it. I smell it. <laughs> smell the spider? Okay. I mean, it, it, it's, you know, and, and at this point, now the uh, the one that was feeding and the other one that's just kind of been staring, the, those two begin to kind of like crowd in on you. Like, oh, what's 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 she got? Everything nah. okay? Nah. I'm gonna have to nah. kill nah. We Why? Don't. Because they're they're accosting me. Nah. They just just walk away. Walk away. Nah. I can't, it's too late. <laughs> All right, attack them. We'll back you up. Oh, Jesus. Go for there it. There are three of them. They they seem kind of tough. They're eating metal They're grass. Did it, say, did it say not hurt them or not kill them? It said don't kill the goats. But hurting them's okay? Why do you want to hurt them? I just want to cut them open a little bit. It oh. seems very cruel. They've got bumpies under them skins. What? Did I say that? <laughs> <laughs> They've got bumps under their skin. And they're, they seem like they're doing fine with it. It's moving around and shit. Okay, well, they're probably used to it. They want to eat spiders. Okay, They're well, of the devil. It's all right. Just leave them alone. We'll be all right. <laughs> we really don't want to. And, and, you know, they're kind of like bumping up into you. They, they, they clearly like are trying to get that spider or the container or whatever it is. Like they want to eat that thing. Can I ha can I hold up something else from the giants? Sure. Like Maybe what? um like the the little bit of carpet with brass inlay. Mm hmm. Do they have the same reaction to that? Give me another animal handling check. Fucking god! <laughs> Out of <laughs> twelve. Do you think mm -hmm. these goats are important? Yes. Fuck. They, they want gonna... the. They want that spider. Help nah. us find the god's fire, you think? Can they I sniff know. it out? I don't know. I mean, you know, like, when somebody's like, don't mess with that thing, it's because it's important. But why is it important? You don't know Maybe until people you try. worship it. Well, I don't know why. They're being dicks. 
The goats? Nah, 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 they're nah. trying to eat my spider. People worship Grayson. That's a very recent development, and I believe a mistake. <laughs> Can I, can I like slide of hand cut a bump off of it? <laughs> Is that a thing? Wow. <clears throat> um, slide of hand surgery. Slide of hand surgery. Yes, that's what I would like to do. It's a um, skill on here, I think. <laughs> Is that what you want to try? <laughs> Scalpel. No one else is curious about what's going on with these goats. Not in the They're least. being weird. They got movie bumpies on them. We were told not to kill them. Have a look around. Everything's sort of weird here. Yeah, we almost walked into a dimensional rib. There are giant gnomes here. Yeah. <laughs> They're pink-skinned giant gnomes. Okay, but who the worship put me. this specifically in the game so I would fucking kill one, so... I have to live up to what people expect of me. What what would it take to try and cut cut a chunk off of it? Do you remember that time Give someone told us that he had all that red herring and then it didn't <laughs> turned out he didn't have any? <laughs> <laughs> it's Boy. Maybe it's like that. Mm. <laughs> like I tried to sell you all that red herring. I don't know what else I could do. No one has like a detect magic or something. <laughs> mm -mm. I, uh, I don't have any like fucking spells so I can't. It's not surprising. I'm just gonna keep walking past and up the mountain with the, with the, the, the uh, okay. I do have a, I do, I mean, wave is a weapon of warning. I to, don't know if that would affect oh, Well, they're like, they're j bumping up against you. They, they don't seem to be attacking you. So wave is like, I don't know what to tell you, Avril. There's something weird, weird about these goats. Some, right? 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 Nobody, Everybody thinks I'm crazy. Nobody well, saying that, that doesn't have anything to do with the goat, so. What's it got to do with? Well, sometimes it's just they're suspicious of your motives. Well, I've always been nice to the, Okay, I've always not killed them. That's true. You did stab me when we were 12 years old. <laughs> I'm not talking to you. <laughs> you stabbed him? On accident? No, uh, it was very much on purpose. On purpose? <laughs> but if you if it. you if you made me stab Grayson on purpose, I wouldn't do it. Really, you can stop me from doing that. Well, this will be a fun experiment I, for I, later. Now I, that you told me I can't, I just <laughs> want to do it. You're headstrong, Avril. Thank you so much. <laughs> what? You're small and cute. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you say? Let's just cut a quick chunk out of this goat real quick. Just see where that bump is. You know what? Let me get far away, and I'll just throw you over there. Just so you know, they don't have a visceral reaction. I don't know how far away you're going to be able to get. These goats have a stubborn personality. Just like me. We're going <laughs> to be they, best friends. They, and they're like literally like now they're like gnawing on your coat and like pulling okay. on your I'm coat. I'm backing up. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, I think they give like me, you. Give me a dexterity check. A fucking shit. I got a 17. Fuck. Three is not a lot. Oh, okay, that's really nineteen good. is. 19 yeah, so you kind of like pull your coat out of the goat's no! mouth, and then you stumble backwards a little Bad. bit, but you put some distance on. I don't These know. Goats are All right, Dad, well, come on, let's go. I'm just mountain. gonna cut one open really quick. No. Yeah, Please I'm just don't. gonna do it really quick. Everybody, keep walking, cause I don't know what the reaction's gonna be. Okay, we'll be up here watching. Maybe they explode. Yeah, that's possible. Okay, do you understand the plan, Wave? What is the plan? I'm gonna throw you, and you're gonna cut off a little bump and bring it back. Okay. All right. You can do that for me? Well, it's mostly up to your skill. I'll do the best I can. All right. Let's do it. Let's teamwork. Teamwork. Makes the what? You're my only friend. <laughs> Makes a lonely life better. <laughs> All right. What am I rolling? Attack? An attack roll. Yes. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Here's my last bump. There's two on the table if you want oh, to steal those two, but that's up bump. to you. Okay, so that's a 15, oh. 16. All right, 16. Uh, 16 does hit. Yeah. Um, so wave, you know, flies across the uh, mountainside here and uh, nicks the the little weird little like bubble. You know, you, you're like, get one of those little weird little bump things. And he's like, okay. And he nicks that thing and 
Somehow, Megan Capes Callerman has been the queen of predictions this evening because the goat does in fact, boom! All of a sudden there's this huge explosion and uh, th this uh, oh, cloud oh of God. weird flying stinging insects springs up and begins like beelining right for you. Uh, let's roll for initiative, please. <laughs> Literally just I before you did. I didn't say that. Really? Yeah. I didn't think it was going to be insects, but <laughs> really? We were also told about swarms of flying insects being prevalent in this that. area. Oh my god! <laughs> All right. Wow. So, oh, mm -hmm. I'm gonna re-roll that. Can yeah. I re-roll? Yeah, you can roll a one. Sure. I might. I might do the same. Um, eighteen. No better. Facts. Yo, I'm going to re-roll that again. Ooh, Whoa. Really? Three. All right. Just, you know. Okay, I'll take my 10. 12. 12. Oh, jeez. Who, who could have right. seen that coming? So, 20-something. <laughs> Anyone on 20-something? 20 22. 22. All right. <laughs> oh, whatever. Like on the scene, man. <laughs> I was not expecting that, ever. Me neither. Me neither way. <laughs> We better do something. There's a giant cloud of evil death bugs coming towards Let's us. Let's abandon our friends. <laughs> okay, how do we do that? Run away. Oh, okay. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> what would you like to do? It's your turn. <clears throat> um, how does one attack insects? Um... So it looks like, as you see it coming towards you, it looks like the, they're, they're tiny little, like, eyeballs oh. with dragonfly wings and, and a, like, a little stinger tail dangling off of the back of it. And there's, you know, you know, three or four hundred of them in this swarm. That is, yeah, about ten foot by ten foot. It's fairly large. And they're flying back did, and forth. Did all three of them explode or just the one? Just the one. Oh, okay. It didn't cause, like, a chain. <laughs> No, yeah, you know what? I really like that idea. Yeah, the one, the one exploded, the other two also right. explode. Boom, 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 boom. What boom. the fuck but, is wrong with you? Yeah, what's There's wrong? gotta be a word what's wrong with for me? someone like you at a table who's what's like, no, make it worse. It's called Teacher, the, you didn't the, assign us homework. Mm -hmm. The yeah. DM's best friend. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Suck up. Oh you know what? God. I'm giving you one of my rerolls. Thank oh. you. Official, that makes it official. I know that Blind Seer would want it that way, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so 20-something, what would you like to do? The, the swarm is coming toward you. Me with you. My, my no spells, so I yeah. can't do like any fucking sort of area of attack. I mean, bullshit. it's like a regular creature, right? The, 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 <laughs> the cloud of horrid hellfire insects is so dense, <laughs> you could attack it. <laughs> you could throw a wave at it. <laughs> that is true. That is how a, sw a swarm technically works. I'm kind of wondering works. if I just... Put a, oh, I guess I've drained my cube of forest, didn't I? It's gotta be Probably. pretty close, Did yeah. I, maybe I have a couple charges left, or? I'm just wondering if I throw up the cube of forest, if they'll just slam into it like Jumanji style and kill themselves. It seems doubtful. <clears throat> it keeps them out, it wouldn't, it wouldn't kill them. Jumanji. Yeah. We're not in Jumanji mode right now. I'll put I'll build, build that into chat next time, but we're not in Jumanji <laughs> mode right now. If if that gets unlocked, I would prefer to be the rock if at all possible. <laughs> yeah. um, I mean, I will shape shift into I don't know, like, you know, the rock, or I guess if you're the rock, I'll be uh, Jack Black, Jack Black, or Karen. It Gillen. could be super like Super Smash Bros, where you're just like a a rock or a, a rock, uh, the rock that looks slightly different. <laughs> yeah. <I'm, laughs> A different like, color hat on. Yeah. I assume Zero Skill Low Pink Bastard is, is resubbing and giving me a reroll for my awesome <laughs> goat role play. <laughs> That's what that goat play Who's now? the goat? I'm the goat. goat I'm the goat. I'm three now. goats, as a matter of fact. Try goat. Yeah. Um, uh, goat yeah, I'm going to throw a wave into it and hope that it kind of, he kind of boomerangs back to kind of like hit, you know, strike once through a bat, you know. That seems sure. like sure. the most effective thing I can do is if I can... Sure, roll your attack. God damn it. Mm -hmm. I'm all out of everything. I spent it all. Yeah. Oh no, there's two table bumps. <laughs> uh, that's a 24. That hits. Okay. Okay, shit. Where are you, Lee? Um. <clears throat> I'm assuming this oh. doesn't get a sneak attack. No, it does not because it does not engage with anyone. Ooh, 
that's a six plus a seven. That's a 13 damage. Oof. And right. then I'm going to run away. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, you get wave back and then you dash. And come up. In the opposite, how far do you move? Is there, is there, I don't know if you can hide from bugs. What's the science behind hiding from bugs? <laughs> they always know. <laughs> they always know. They I mean, they're here. giant uh, floating eyeballs. Yeah, we'll <laughs> point, point out that it's an entire swarm of eyeballs, right? <clears throat> so I could easily. Yeah, so what are you they saying? They don't have noses. <laughs> but they have disadvantage on perception. <laughs> what I'm saying is they don't have two eyes, so they mm. don't have depth perception. <laughs> they don't have death perception. <laughs> 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 so are you going to oh, move your maximum dash, or are you going to hide instead? Uh, you do yeah, one of two things, right? Dash. Okay. Flee, yes. So you move 60 feet? Yes. Because your movement's 30, is that correct? Or is your oh, no, 20? sorry, it's 50 feet. Oh, uh, you move my 50 speed feet. is 20. All right, noted. All right, so that was 20-something. <laughs> 19, 18, 17, 16? Oh, I got 18, sorry. Mm -hmm. um, oh, my God. Did you say three? No, not yet. I'm going to. Get in there. Uh, avoid, BSB says avoid the kaboom two minutes ago. <laughs> God damn it. Uh huh. <laughs> um, okay, I'm gonna, I guess, uh, run into the swarm and uh, ignite Dawn Razor and take a swipe. Okay. See if that does anything. Run into the swarm? How very paladin of you. All right. Oh, someone's <laughs> jealous. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. Oh my okay. god. I can't believe this. Uh, that is 22. You hit the swarm. I did it. Yeah. I hope they... Well, was that what was moving around down there? Was all these eyeball insects? Uh, that is 12 uh, radiant. 12 radiant, all right. Very good. And second attack. We find another one, and I try to be more delicate this time. I don't think it'll matter. Ooh, net 20. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Uh, you were not excited enough about that. Well, because I, I don't know if this is like way beyond our measure. I don't know what's happening. Critical we hit could those just die. buggies. Uh, so and that's 10 plus. A bunch of eyeballs killed us. Uh, 5, 15 Poetic. plus 4, 19 Zenithar radiant. Asked us to... All right. Oh, oh my radiant. God. How You're do they right. Look? How do they look? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it doesn't look very happy. However, uh, I need you to give me a dexterity saving throw. Cool. Great. Cool. I'm going to bump that. That seems like something I should bump. Mm -hmm. Well, it's up to you. Uh, 7 plus thir uh, 6, and I bumped it, so 16. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Well, the good news is you are not blinded. Cool. <clears throat> uh, 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 cool. Uh, uh, so that... That's that. <clears throat> um, but else? your speed is reduced by half. As you wade into this thing, and I said they have these little like dragonfly kind of like stinger tails, they begin hooking onto your clothes and stuff like that, and it begins weighing you down. Oh. Yeah, it's uh, almost like a weird cloak of... of, of they're going to turn you into a goat. Um, winged <laughs> oh my winged God, eyes uh, and begin weighing you down. I'm going to... Wow, blind wow, Sears in for 25 bucks. Oh, bucks. thank you, Blind Sears for 25. Uh, I'm going to bonus action uh, Misty Step out of there. Okay, all right. Boom, you're gone. Whatever the max distance of that is, which is, I think, is 30 I feet, I think, something like that. Uh, no, no, no. Might be 40. I'm oh, not I forgot what goats sure. look like. I just drew sheep. 30. On it's 30? <laughs> okay, so I'll miss you step 30 feet away. <clears throat> Even though okay. I can't move any further, but I can just pow. Well, good. That's good for you. Yeah. All right, um, so that was on 18, 17, 16. I think I'm next with 12. Oh, I'm sorry. They're on 14. Crit. <clears throat> so uh, I'm going to, let's see. So she's 50 feet away. You only, you popped 30 feet away. I'm going to assume uh, that you guys are probably roughly 30 feet away. I don't know. What do you think? How far, how far back were you standing from her when she was... Screwing oh, around with the goats. I mean, a good he, he got there in a move, so. Uh, well, we were probably I did with tell him. them to back up. Mm -hmm, I don't know if y'all mm -hmm, listen or mm -hmm. not. So I'm going to do it this way one to two, three to four, five to six. Okay. Five to six. So they, they, they continue after the quarry who has smote them once that they can reach. So they swarm over you and they begin biting you. Hmm. Oh, jeez. This will be interesting. Lids? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. That, what the fuck? Well, that doesn't Keep work. the sharp oh, eyelids. Come on. Do you have pictures of these guys? Oh. Woo! Uh, that reroll paid off, Blind Seer. Thank uh, you so much. That is a critical hit. Uh, sorry, Tom. I'm going to use Lucky. 
<laughs> Are you going to use Lucky to yep. make me re-roll mm -hmm. that? Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Seems like a good use. Actually, that means I get to roll. Oh, OK. All right. Come on, crap. That's not, not crit. I'm fine with that. OK. <coughs> uh, so that would be 17 plus whatever. Sure. 17 plus three. 17 hits me. So. Armor class 20? Well, yeah. Luigi left the room. Is Luigi's like, screw this, I'm out of here. Is that two different? Are you rolling all the damage at once? Did you yeah. To, did you figure to take some dice out of there? No. It's not Maybe. a crit? It's not a crit. Oh my god. Mm. 66. All right. So I think that's. It's 66. <laughs> Barf. <laughs> Might as well be. 20. Two plus one <clears throat> is 23 points of damage. Cool. Uh, Nifty. Uh, plus 11 poison damage. Oh. Cool. Mm -hmm. So 34. I'm sorry, give me a constitution saving throw. Oh, okay. I feel like I should make this one. Oh, that sounds good. That's 2019. Okay, so you only take half the poison damage. You take five instead of. So five plus 23 is 28? Yes. Cool. Mm -hmm. Cool, cool, cool. Great. Lay down, buddy. And cool. Mm. Cool. Mm -hmm. cool. Cool, cool, great. Pretty great. All, Pretty all great. things great. I feel so great. So that is, uh, that really is the swarm's uh, action. Mm -hmm. Uh, now I believe it is your turn, Ava. I apologize for. So, oh, by the way, um, zero skill low ping bastard gives his reroll to Ava the prognosticator. Oh, oh, so thank this you. is available to you. Thank you very much. Um, your... Real quick, at the end of that attack, can I just scream, "Run! <laughs> Run!" <laughs> oh, I wanted to crit you so bad. Twelve die six damage. Yeah. Ah! Yeah. Uh, 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 oh man. Uh, yeah. I want to. Well, how big? How like? Why? It's 10 feet, feet by 10 feet, and then it's probably about 20 feet tall. Um, it's a big kind of funnel of s these buzzing and swimming. Well, Although with his hit, um, it's been cut down to probably only actually like less than 10 feet tall. So it's like a 10 foot by 10 foot mound of these flying, uh, buzzing, stinging I'm gonna things. I'm going to use Thunder Wave. I'm going to Thunder Wave him. Ooh, yeah, baby. OK, yeah. it's going to catch him, too. I thought you moved out of it. I did, but they chased me. Yeah, they, they buzzed on top of them. They like. Can I like? Can I move in such a way where he's kind of out of my range? I mean, it's just 15 foot. I think. It's so you can away. clip part of the swarm, but not him. Yeah, basically. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> um, do you have Arcana or something like that? You do have Arcana. Yes. Yeah. So I'm gonna say, give me a DC 13 Arcana check, and if you succeed. You will not affect Thawne, and if you fail, he will be caught in it. Okay. It. Yeah. <laughs> There's still two on the table as well. Uh, so oh, what right. is that? Plus. I'm going to start seven. using them if you don't. 11 plus 7, 18. Yeah, no problem. So, yeah, you can get an angle on it and, and you can kind of swing around and realize that you can buzz, you know, enough half of it that it's not going to Okay. Not gonna Just look up him. goat eyes? Just like an <laughs> goat eyes. I'm going to cast so this at, so at second level. Okay. So, uh, it is a constitution save. Okay. Oh, it's kind of cute. Of uh, <laughs> it's uh, okay, yeah. right. 18. Well, that part's not cute. Okay. <laughs> DC 18 Constitution now. Mm. <laughs> Okay, that one's cute. Natural 20. What's going on here? Cute when they chew. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, how did this no, happen no, no, again? 20 my con save. Oh, so I okay. take half damage, I believe. Yeah. And I'm not pushed. <laughs> no, unfortunately. Okay, well. So, I keep still. <laughs> Why were you cutting those? I'm gonna, this was so scary. Save this. <laughs> Background up. Eight plus <laughs> six no. plus four. What's no. that? Eighteen. Uh, eight, thank you. Eighteen. Half of that being nine. nine. Calculator. Oh, it takes nine. All right. Beep, 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 beep. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you 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 destroy a huge part of the swarm. It's yep. it's, it's just barely kind of a few stinging and buzzing. <laughs> uh, Oh, did you? And I I'm want sorry. to run away Are from Are you back him. up? All right. <laughs> so. Question. I, yeah. I'm not going to use it now, but I was, uh, Throws of Passion is essentially rage, but rage very specifically says, uh, yeah, I only get the benefits if I'm not wearing heavy armor. Is that? Oh, no, no, no. You would be able to <laughs> yeah, rage with your armor on. <laughs> it's like, okay. <laughs> I'm not going to do it now, but I'm just like, curious like... about that. Just look at goat, goat eyes. Goat faces. Pictures of goat eyes. <laughs> goat faces. I hope those are the kinds of eyes. Those weird. Yeah, yeah they are. They're the double pupil. Eyes, yeah. Right? yeah. 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 <laughs> I've seen goat eyes before. No, I did a caption with the ghost saying. Uh. Whoa. 
<laughs> oh God, he's why? Because he's dying. <laughs> he's yeah. exploding. I'm gonna run up to where Thon is, being covered in bugs. Uh, and I'm gonna pull out Shatter bugs. Spike, and uh, I'm gonna start uh, swinging uh, at, at 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 bugs. Okay. Okay. Hope they're all ready to kill a fly. <laughs> First attack. Seems like overkill. That's probably not good. I'm just gonna re-roll that. Okay. Because I doubt a 12 is gonna do it. Did you hear You're the right, part? You're right, a 12 would not do it. Where I said run. Uh, what about uh, eight plus seven is? 15. 15. That is exactly its armor class. Okay. Oh my god. We've solved your armor class but puzzle. Then <laughs> one they more hit. attacking us. And that's higher, so that's, that's two hits. Okay. So that's gonna be a, let's see, five, six, seven, nine, five, six, nine mm -hmm. and then, and then another twelve. So that's uh, twenty-one <coughs> damage. Blackjack, blackjack them. This is just one swarm. Mm -hmm. Okay, <clears throat> so uh, well, I mean the, no, the, the you the, said that it's thing all three and then of them together. Yeah. All three of them. Yeah. But are these combined to where I was, or are they yeah. farther? Oh, no, they all they came are. together. Okay, cool, uh, okay. great. Team so work. yeah, you swing shatter spike twice and manage to mop up the last remaining, you know, eyeballs just <laughs> and the like Ew. ichor and goo like spatter into the air and kind of some flecks of it land on Thon, but you have dispersed this, whatever few remaining stragglers there are, and the swarm is essentially defeated at this oh point. Oh my god. Congratulations. High five! Yeah. Are you okay? Thanks for that. Well, now! Work. He's covered in, like, stings and welts. You're like, do I look okay? I'm fine! <laughs> <laughs> and as you look, you can see he's got, like, little bumps and things like that on his on his neck and on his forehead. What, does stuff. this... Oh no! I'm gonna do. A, Don't come near me with that knife. I'm gonna do. A, <laughs> I'm gonna do a medicine check. Okay. Against Thon. Mm -hmm. Against him. Uh, that's uh, mm -hmm. four. seventeen. Okay. Is he? I want to see if it looks like he may have had any weird eye bug eggs laid in his face. Oh or body. my god. Um. I think there were scorpions. He's got here, a lot he? of stings. Oh, no. You don't oh, see my God. any. Uh, oh, my God. You don't see any 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 eggs that you know. Like you, you kind of like you know. I don't know. Pop one of these things. Pull one of these things open, and just regular kind of like blood and fluid comes out right. there. You don't see that the, the, that the barbs have stuck in or anything like that. Right. Oh you you do suspect that the fact that he made his constitution save against the the poison effect probably prevented you're, him from being. You're lucky. Uh, you almost became like those goats. <gasps> what? Is that oh. what you consider lucky? <laughs> Is that what you, okay. Well, maybe now we won't be stabbing any goats. I didn't stay a bit. I tried to artfully remove one of its bumps to conduct a scientific experiment about what the fuck they were. You know, I don't want to talk to you right now. Can we well, move? I don't want to talk to you because you ugly. Can I? You ugly. Just go over and touch him and use my healing hands that I have, that yes. I'm remembering I have. Okay. Uh, which gives you, what, six? It says to restore HP equal to your level. Okay. To my, oh, well, it's the same level. Cool, dope, thank you. Mm-hmm. I'm at 33. Um, and then, Ugh. yeah. I yeah. will also you're pregnant with bug cast babies. Cure Wounds. <laughs> <laughs> Um, which is D8. D8 plus my spell casting ability modifier. Wait, which is that one? Oh, uh, plus top four. right. Of, oh, okay. Uh, oh wow, five. <laughs> Aww. Okay, sorry. I'll take five. Weird. My Thirty-eight. Do you need more? Uh, I, I mean, I, I could always use more, but you could probably save it for a little bit. I'm at around forty-ish. I'm thirty-eight. Should be all right. All right. Good to know. Let's keep moving. <clears throat> Maybe okay. when someone tells you not to do something, you shouldn't this time. I, I like I said before, I realize that. <laughs> okay. That's, that's a good. But it's that's a good part thing of the problem. To learn. Oh, so you didn't learn it. You know, it's it's not about learning something. It's about completely changing who I am as a person, and that can't happen. You know, overnight or over one eyeball Exploded insect out. infestation. You know. I'm, I'm just learning, I've been taking working it at a this day at a time. Oh, long time. Mm -hmm. She's, there are some people that, there are some people who are like water, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and some people who are like stone. Mm 
Oh, oh. I would say I'm more like fire. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so you continue on your journey up up towards the 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 crater here. <clears throat> um, why don't you give me a survival check to do some tracking? And oh, see yeah. if you can figure out kind of where you might be headed. So we're still in the mountains, right? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you want to do Arcana? Yep. Mm -hmm. This is 14. There's a wisdom check. Oh, proficiency bonus is doubled. Okay, cool. Oh, 20. Oh, that's 24. That's a one. That's a one. <laughs> okay. Blink, blink, blink. Uh, Oh, I got a reroll from you. Thank you. Mm, dang it! <laughs> <laughs> right into the mouth of the volcano. Okay, well that's another wow, one. Wow, there we go. Uh, <laughs> all right. A one's a one's a one's so, a one. So, so here's here's part of what happens, right? Is that you get a little bit disoriented by the number of portals. Like you're trying to use your detect portal ability, mm -hmm. and as you get like closer to the to the to the crater. Um, you're detecting like you know your staves are going off constantly and then you begin journeying into the smog right and the smog really starts to disorient you uh, and 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 so your tracking ability gets kind of completely thrown off Ava on the other hand you get almost like this like it's almost like you can have you ever <laughs> just out of character. Have you ever been like in a lake swimming and you put your head in the water and you kind of like your ears get encapsulated and then you hear like a motorboat go by and you hear that high pitch like as it approaches and it goes away? Maybe something like that. Something like that. That's a very specific <laughs> situation. Very, well, you get that so. same sort of like high pitched buzzing that you can hear like coming from up the mountain. And you're kind of like, no, no, it's this way. Mm -hmm. It's this way. <clears throat> um, I do need, as you wade into the fog, you, whatever charges you had left on your cube get burned out, you know? Because sure, yeah. it's a few minutes. Um, so I need everybody to give me a constitution <laughs> save. Fuck, mm. I've used all my mm -hmm. bonuses. Bump this. Shit. There's two bumps on the table if you want to use it. What is my con? I don't, we don't roll this a lot. This one. I'll use one. Uh, 13. All right, 13 is what you need. Oh, it didn't matter. Eight. 21. Oof, I got exactly 13 with those bumps. Oof. Okay. Well, Oof. This is karma. Isn't so it? the three of you uh, <laughs> managed to take half damage, which isn't a lot. All right, so it's four points of psychic damage. Oh, psychic. what's that mean in my brain? That's that's the thing is Matt's like you gone. begin to get kind of confused and disoriented. Matt gone. <laughs> right. So you all take two points of damage. No. <clears throat> Uh, can I have a pencil? Uh, oh, let me write this down, then you can have this. But oh, my head. you follow this buzzing noise, and you, you're you standing about, you know, you, you would estimate, you're, I don't know if you're halfway up the mountain or what, you can't tell because you're in the thick of the smog now, but you're like, it's around here somewhere, I swear. You can give me renewed um, survival checks, or an arcana yep. check, or whatever, or intelligence investigation. It. Whoever wants to, whatever skill you think applies, I'll allow it. I got 21. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, 10. Mm-hmm. Eight. Mm-hmm. 11. Okay. So you use your detect portal ability again, and you're like, oh, there's some place where there's this, it's almost like a strange vibration of a portal that is simultaneously forming and collapsing at the same time, oh. right? Um, and it, you can't tell exactly <clears throat> what plane is, is it's connected to, but you can tell as you're standing at this, this spot and you can see the stone on the side of the hill looks completely normal, nothing unusual about it but there's a portal like set into the stone, but it doesn't seem to, it doesn't, doesn't disappear. Like you wait maybe a few minutes or whatever, it doesn't disappear. It's, it's simultaneously activating, but then like collapsing, like it's in a continual state of flux. Hmm. And, and you're standing at this thing and the only thing, the other thing that you notice is you look down and there's just a few little silvery scales that are scattered around, amongst the stone here. Oh. Um, Silvery scales. I'll play it safe and just chuck a rock into it, into the portal. It goes through. Okay. 
I think oh, this spider is... Spider time. I hope it's not spider time. You could send the spider through. It's a good idea. Oh, okay. That, the good type of spider time. <laughs> <laughs> There's a bad type of spider time. You don't want that. Mm -hmm. oh. The planar dimensional portal of spiders. Yes. Oh my. Is that really? That exists? We don't talk about spider time. We'll not go there. Go for it. Well, the thing about that is everything spiders. The air you breathe is spiders. What? Yeah. That doesn't sound the like The ground it. you walk on is spiders. Everything it's is spiders. It's always spider time. It doesn't sound like you could survive there. No. I'm going to no. set set the little spider on spiders the ground. Spiders do really well. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And get mm -hmm. the pocket and, and ferrets. point it towards the portal. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So it climbs up over the stone and then it climbs through the stone and you're watching like, you know, a rock, uh, you know, and a rock and then here comes the rock wall and, it, and then all of a sudden as it like it vibrates, you know, as it goes through the stone and your screen goes blank. Did it work? No. Oh. Hmm. I mean, it didn't explode. That's good. That's good. We, we don't know anymore what will explode, what won't. Then, after a minute, you see a little bit of flickering, right? Oh, and there's wait, just wait. like this flickering flash of images. It's a uh, Stargate. The, <gasps> it's my past. <laughs> you can tell that the spider must have some sort of light on it, that when it's in darkness, it oh turns God, like, like a little, so like, like beam of light on or whatever. Okay. Um, but you're getting these intermittent flashes, and, and you see a, like a silvery cave with the smooth walls. You do see, for a moment, you like catch just like part of an arm of some sort of silver encrusted statue or something like that, oh. right? Oh my God. I don't know, it doesn't like move, <laughs> but you just see part of an arm, and then it continues on, and then uh, it looks like this is a very irregular um, twisting tunnel. And it, you know, walks 20 or 30 feet and bumps into a wall and kind of like hangs up there. But but that but you catch all of this through like these intermittent sure. flashes. It's like it's like it, it it tunes in and then like the signal goes out. It tunes in, the signal goes out. Huh. Well, it looks like real s silvery tunnel and silver statues. Uh, I don't know. Could it be the animantium? Worth mm. looking into. Yep. Should we try going through it? I'm yeah. be kind a little of neat. scared, honestly. Uh, but you know, if someone can go in and come back out, you know, I'd feel comfortable. Okay. Uh, I'll do yeah. it. Okay. I'll go with you. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> uh, I walk in uh, okay. side by side with Ava. All right. The two of you walk through. So you walk into a large winding cavern, the walls of which are all covered in metal. And as you look closer, you can see that that that, that each of the little, is, is, it's small little platelets, little metal scales that are have kind of like been built up layer after layer after layer to completely encase this area, right? That's strange. Um, Immediately near you, the, the 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 as you walk through, like the temperature drops probably thirty degrees at oh, least, right? It's just the shock of cold air as you walk through, and the air itself feels like somewhat almost charged with some sort of energy or electricity, right? You can kind of feel your hairs kind of stand up, your skin prickles as you enter this winding cavern. Um, Right near the area where you arrive, you see three figures that are immobile and, uh, and they're skeletons. There's, they don't have any flesh on them. Uh, they are wearing, uh, it looks like maybe they wore equipment at some point, but that's surf. somehow been oh. either been uh, dissolved or taken away or something like that. But there's three skeletons. You can tell that two of them are human and one of them there is dwarven, right? Mm. Okay. Um, and they're facing you and they're almost like reaching out almost kind of like plaintively in your direction. <clears throat> Um, you turn around and look behind you, and it looks like the um, where the portal is is just a, a, a wall of silver. I know, solid silver doesn't flicker or anything like that. Uh, do you want to go back and get the rest? Yeah. Okay, I'll yeah. wait here, I guess. Okay. Um, how could we tell when we went through like how thick the portal seemed to be? 
Okay, mm -hmm. I'll go back through. Mm -hmm. uh, you attempt to go back through, and the the wall is solid when you push uh, up against I, it. I can't go back through. Oh, uh, well, let's just wait a the moment. They'll come. They wouldn't just stay out there. I'm sure they will just walk Where did in. the little spider go? We can tell them. Oh. I don't know if, oh, okay, yeah. Oh my uh, god, that's so smart. <laughs> <laughs> <What>? <laughs> uh, I'm sure they're fine. Let's go back and get on the ship. <laughs> they're not coming back out. Let's yeah. go check out those goats. I, I don't mean, want to get trapped in a weird portal. I just like, I feel like I left things really weird with a captain. And, uh, yeah. You really got to make, you know, I, make it up with her because I just want, you know me, you know me. Like I get, I, I know you. I, if I get too close, I got to push it I away. Know, I, but you got to bring down those walls. The screen pally. flickers on, you see us like you're not hold on you're not you're not hanging out with master tom anymore you don't need to build those walls you don't need to dig those uh, holes we come in so much I fire like silver once in a lifetime having a heart to heart with grayson there's a dragon like you're alive <laughs> yeah, there's so much silver for you to take in here i got plenty of shit do you know what i mean though yeah because it's just like i feel like i don't deserve it you know what have you done to not deserve it? Save everyone and everything that's ever crossed your path? You're right, you're a dick and you should die alone. Thank you. No, I'll be sarcastic, Grace, and we also need to work on that. I, I think know. that was Tommen talking in there. <laughs> Why would Tommen say that? You should die alone, I don't know. Grown <laughs> oh, old. I don't think Tommen would say that. <laughs> you just think it. Why would he, he's not <laughs> if evil. You, if you don't give your heart to someone, how are you ever gonna truly understand what it really means to be human? It's true. Yeah. Damn, yeah. who said that? <laughs> you go? The goat said that? Yeah. I don't know. <gasps> I fucking knew it. <laughs> you transformed into a goat. I cut him open. <laughs> we gotta get that person out of there. <laughs> Makes you think, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, hey! Uh, does this do audio? <laughs> no. Oh. Uh-uh. You just see like... <laughs> Look, Grayson! Look at Sam! They're waving at us. <laughs> They're dancing. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But it's flickering, so we just see. Yeah. yeah, it's going in and out. Do you think they're saying, don't come in? Or are they saying, come in? Or are they saying, that I'm hungry? <laughs> what do you think? I can't, I throw a ration through there. <laughs> yeah. no, so, so they look excited. This, like, like this trail ration, comes, this packet of trail rations comes flying. It's one of us now. So what happens inside is there's like there's this flash of like blue actinic light, just this really bright kind of like blinding light, and you know pops into existence in the middle, like just ahead of those three statues, and then you know hits the ground, and kind of like mm. skitters over towards you. I don't think they're coming. No. Uh, and now he's flipping us off. He's flopping us off. Yeah, definitely happy. <laughs> yeah. But at least we have food. What'd you throw in there? A uh, trail ration. Oh, yeah. And he likes, like, sweet things. He I wants a candy or something. Pick up the spider and go over to the wall and go. I gave Ava the last of my look. Oh, right. no, no, no. Look, no. Ava's hand's on the wall. She can't push through. Oh, okay. <laughs> why didn't they say so? I don't know. I don't know why they're doing It's, it's great that the two stuff. smart characters are the ones who <laughs> yeah, no. Is Grayson stupid? He's not stupid. No, I'm he's actually. Just, he's good to a fault. Um, well, okay, we need to weigh our options here because if we go in there, we're not going to be able to get back out. I mean, we can't leave them there. What if we put a rope in there? True. Maybe they can grab on the rope. We could try it. <laughs> I throw a rope in there. <laughs> um, so, I mean, there's enough resistance from the um, f from the the stone wall, you know, or the stone that you can't just like throw a rope through, right? Oh, like, okay. What if I just put one arm in? It okay. You put an arm in. Can they see my arm? I grab it and pull. <laughs> no, why? No, her her arm doesn't come out, but you can't right, get your portal. you can't get your arm out oh, now. Oh fuck! Oh, wait, shit! Wait, wait, wait. I, I take the rope, I tie it around your waist. I thought you were gonna saw it. And then do not pull on me. <laughs> do not, because what if my arm gets ripped off? No, I was gonna push you through. They grab oh. onto you, and we. If I can, if oh, not, okay, I'll just okay, follow okay, you through. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, all right. Okay. Don't rip me in half. I I won't. Do not. I promise you, I can't rip you in half. I don't believe you. I probably, I, I wouldn't rip you in I'm half. Very small. It's true. Okay, uh, I, so I, I allow myself to be pushed through the. You portal. could step through. I push, push me. through. Okay. <laughs> okay, so you go through. Um, the rope immediately tightens up. So give me a strength check to try and 
resist this thing. Probably an exit somewhere else. We don't know that. Can... If we if it we're wrong, we're just trapped there forever, you know? Can I rage? Not no. at this point, yeah. no. Takes a bonus action. Okay, uh, so that's a uh, strength save. Uh, that'll be... Uh, uh, it's going to be an 18, 19, 20, 21. 21. All right. Yeah. So you, you like plant your feet against two, you know, two rocks and uh, pull back as hard as you can. And <laughs> snap. The rope goes in, but you're on the Too other. Too strong. You're on. Well, strong shit. Heads. A ration? Really? I'm, just, I'm just holding uh, and, so, and so Avril comes tumbling in like pop, you know, and then like basically like head over but tea kettle. But I land on my feet. Yeah. <laughs> You'd think these were strong hits. <laughs> um, and she, uh, yeah, and you, you you come pop up and you're face to face with this this weird like silvery metal skeleton like there's like. Arr. <laughs> it doesn't. It's not, it's not alive. I don't oh, think. Oh, good. Yeah. What good. are you doing out there? Why didn't you come in? I'm just shaking did his you hand. Take, did you take the spider compact with you? Yeah. Okay. I don't know why I would leave it. I'm just. I, oh, I, like leave it with you. We did not discuss. Yeah. That, so yeah. No you you look down at it and you're getting a complete 100% reading now. It's not flickering anymore. Oh, I'm gonna go pick it up and put it back in the. All right. I step through. Okay. Oh, Great. All right. Well, I hope there's an exit. <laughs> so again, uh, it's it's cold in here. The light goes out, we all suffer. Um, it is a winding I'm cavern wondering. that is. <laughs> we turn into skeletons. Covered in these Silver. little goats. tiny <laughs> scales of metal, right? Um, what would you like to do at this point? It is dark. You mm. uh, strike some sort of light. I have light vision. I, I can goggles. See, I have dark vision. So I'm like, it's great. Oh, mm. light a torch. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> For us humans. Right? <laughs> right? Uh, hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Okay, so you light a torch. Um, it creates this eerie flickering light, right? Because the whole, the entire oh, yeah. cavern <laughs> is covered in these tiny little metal scales. So the, 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 it shimmers and flickers. Oh my god, and, is it like we're inside a disco ball? Yeah, yeah. A spooky disco ball. Probably, yeah. It's co it's cold. The air is cold, and 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 like I said, you can feel like your skin kind of like twitch a little bit from some sort of like charged energy that's maybe in the air. That's creepy. Uh -oh. The 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 cavern itself does not seem to deviate, like have any branches or chambers or anything like that. Um, so you push ahead. Um, l a little over a hundred feet or so, up, down, wind, a little bit, until finally you come to the end of the cavern, where there is a sheer metal wall that is lightly engraved with some sort of runes. <clears throat> what the hell is this? Is it draconic? As you look at this, so as as Avril takes these is characters it? in, you suddenly tighten up. Oh my god! And 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 <laughs> your your eye your eyes go just a little bit like cockeyed and off, uh, and you, and you have today. a you, what? you already pooped yourself. You have Did I? you said that. Oh. Oh, uh, no, that was Havana. <laughs> Havana pooped herself. You have a sudden and extremely vivid flash back to the actual map, which you had oh, okay. uh, had gazed upon at the Zoastar. I think it's the language that guy was speaking. And it's almost as if you I were holding the map mm. in your hands in front of you. Whoa. We had a map on foil. That's fucking cool. So, at this juncture, we're going to cliffhanger things. Whoa! And it, it, look, BSB Care would he would have my DM's credentials <laughs> burned from the very spires of Castle Wizards of the Coast itself. <laughs> 
if you actually got into the Expedition of the Barrier That's Keeps true. this session. That's very so. true. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to leave it here. Uh, we will pick this up next week, next Wednesday. Ooh. Let's have a big round of applause for all of our players. Mr. Grab Galati! <laughs> Hi everybody! You can catch me on the Twitters at Double GXG and every other social media website as well. Um, you can also catch me on Wild Cards this Friday at 8 p.m. Tune in. Pew pew. pew, pew. That's it for me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Havana Mahoney. Hey, hey guys! Uh, you can find me at Havana Rama on Twitter, H A V A N A R A M A, and you can find me on Twitch at Vanna underscore Rama, V A N A underscore. R A M A. And uh, I stream over there, the Vigi Games, uh, five five days a week. Uh, a lot, a lot. I'm doing a lot of RP recently too, so if you're into the RP we do in this game, you might enjoy the RP I do in that game. Maybe. And other people are doing it too. You don't have to depend on me being good at it. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm like here. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's all I got. Megan Caves Callerman. You can find me on Twitter at Megan Caves. The name is spelled M E G H A N C A V E S. Uh, and you can catch uh, me on Wild Cards as well as Friday's episode two, season three. Um, and we, Grav, me, and Jordan Caves Callerman also have uh, a podcast called Experience Pointers. It's a GM RPG podcast. You can find us on Twitter at EXP Pointers Pod. Dun, dun, dun. Eric, mostly shit, Reichert. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you, can, you can find me on the Instagram and Twitters, at mostly shit. And then you can find me on Twitch, playing, playing video games as well, at mostly Eric. Ta-da! Hey, everyone. Uh, let's have a big round of applause for Mr. Dom Zook, the man behind the cameras and the keyboards over here. Uh, 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 I'm Tom Lommel. I have been your Dungeon Master and host. I will be back tomorrow for a Disorganized Play, uh, Thursday at 2 p.m. here on the Saving Throw channel, where we will talk about how tonight's session went, uh, the things that uh, you all contributed to that uh, you unlocked. There are some things that will be paid off. Uh, there will certainly be one thing that will be paid off next session. Um, you know, of course, the uh, the goats thing was a special chat unlockable as well. Was there a betting pool? Uh, and, like, <laughs> if I would explode the goats. Um, the weird the weird gnomes were also something that chat unlocked. You oh, wouldn't necessarily nice. find them. They're pretty if, cool. If chat had them. So thank you so much to everyone who donated, whether you donated <laughs> cash or bits, or you just donated, uh, you know, the, your voice on the social media, sharing us certainly on. Uh, Twitter and Facebook and wherever else you might be sharing your world view. Uh, we appreciate you uh, blaring the, the horn for us. Um, as well as um, everybody who subbed up. Thank you so much. We got some great yeah, new subs in and people yeah. resubbed and whatnot. It was a terrific night for us. So thank you for your, your time, talent, passion, and treasure and contribution. We really do appreciate it. A special thanks, a special shout out to all of our mods who help keep our channel safe, friendly, and accessible. We're getting a lot of new people in, so it's always nice to kind of set the tone for what our we want our chat to be like and we help we rely on people like you to help us enforce that so thank you so much uh tomorrow night is never tell me the odds with america's gm mr david crennan you can watch fantasy flight star wars tomorrow night friday night is episode two of the wild cards uh, with uh, featuring Megan and Garav and Mr. Dom Zook uh, mm -hmm. and Jordan Pridgen and uh, Jordan Caves Kellerman as the Marshal. If you have not checked out the awesome, awesome trailer that Garav edited for that, go uh, watch that on our YouTubes. It is, uh, it is, it is a really amazing <laughs> show. Oh uh, God! <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you so much, everyone, for joining us. I had a great time. I hope you did as well. Until next time, let's, let's dungeon! dungeon!